What's poppin' everybody? We ready to do this? Uh, ready to see Madden screw us over? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Madden 23. Uh, hopefully, I need y'all to pray to the Madden gods. I need y'all to, to bow down at the mercy and the will of Madden to pray that we don't have the same fate that Mr. Hurricane has had in his Vikings franchise. All right, we really do not want to get this back to the draft glitch thing. Yeah, none of that draft cheese, none of that garbage. It also happened to my man, Mr. Raiden, in the chat as well on his Twitch franchise. If that happens, we just going to play other games. I mean, you know, Madden's not the only game in the universe. What's up, Ryan Baseball? What's up, Doopy Guy? Bankroll, you made it. Let's go. Obviously, we got the usual suspects. Brother Kaz is in the channel. Make sure you guys go uh, subscribe to that dude over here on YouTube. That guy's killing it with the Falcons franchise. We got my man Reyes Chronicles. We got Raiden. We got Walty. We got Clank. We're ready to get this thing popping. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, if you're offline, you should be all right. Okay, I'm offline. So hopefully I just don't get that glitch. That'd be great. Trading Trevor Lawrence season. Let's go. Reyes? 
better shut up. <laughs> uh, at this point, if it happens to the Falcons, I'm just playing Axis. That's fair. That's fair. Um, welcome on in, everybody. We're going to play some off-season. We got, obviously, we got a little bit of housekeeping to do. Um, my man Raiden said he didn't even watch the playoffs. I'm going to go Tiny Box because I'm probably, I don't know, I might be able to record this, but it's probably still going to have my face cam on it. So, yo, CJ, what's poppin', dude? What's going on, CJ? CJ out here, my dude. Michael Long, what's going on? A banger to end the night. Hey, bankroll, that's the way to go, bro. That's the way to go. Um, So, looking for some sliders for all pro. Do you know any good ones? No. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've tried a lot. No, I don't know any good ones. That's why I'm not playing the game. <laughs> that's why I don't play the game, man. That's why what I, I, I just... Let the CPU do it. I don't even want to play the damn game. Yeah, they usually have good ones, Kaz, but I haven't liked what they've been putting out. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have not enjoyed it at all. Uh, I don't like the Mat 10 sliders. I don't like the other couple of sets I've seen on there. I have just not liked it at all. Um, so we've been letting the CPU decide what happens, and I think it's way better. Honestly, I think the, the quality on the field is way better than me playing it. If that means I suck at the game, then that means I suck at the game. But we're doing a better job, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, retired. Let's see. Retirements. Matt Prater retiring. Taylor Lawan, Kaz, your, your boy. He's out. Pernell McPhee, Calais Campbell, Kevin Zeitler, Tyrod. Not Tyrod. He was the best backup we ever had. Oh, so we lose Tyrod Taylor, Trent Williams retires, Avery Williamson, Rodney Hudson, Brandon Graham, Limbaugh Joseph, Nate Ebner, I don't even, you know, really know him too well, Roger Saffold, Nick Folk, Justin Houston, Randall Cobb, T.Y. Hilton, A.J. Klein, Pat Pete, L.J. Fort, Kelvin Beecham, Cam Brate, Mike Purcell, Tom Compton, Raheem Mostert, not the Mostert. With the no start, uh, Dean Marlowe, Michael Brockers, Terrence Mitchell, Mike Davis, Rashad Hill, Robert Alford, A.J. McCarron, Cam Newton, Zach Kerr, Malik Jackson, Dre Kirkpatrick, Patrick Omame, and Brian Witzman, all retiring. There you go. Avery Williamson retired, too. No. Yeah, what up, Pepper Jack? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Tired as fuck, drove two and a half hours home after being with Michaela and her family. Her grandfather passed away Friday morning, so I had to prepare and attend the funeral. After my long drive, I had work. Sorry to hear that, CJ. Sorry for your loss and and obviously for Michaela's loss, man. Sorry to hear that, dude. Um Better times ahead, we hope. Better times ahead. Um Pepperjack, good to see you in here, brother. This off-season free agency always appears to be loaded. I am pumped now. And we're going to go through this really quick um, so that it kind of sets up. I was writing some things down. We're going to have a lot of movement here if we so choose. You guys are going to be the ones to help out with this. All right, let's take a look here. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence... We could get rid of him and save $5.68 million. I'm not going to. I've got plenty of mods in the chat, including one that was trolling with this very thing. Stop telling me to get rid of Trevor Lawrence. It is not his fault that picks are being thrown. It is the video game. I could literally put Pat Mahomes in his situation and throw picks. As a matter of fact, Pat Mahomes threw 10 picks against us in two games last year. Just saying. So it's just Madden 23 is just a pick machine, okay? I am not getting rid of Trevor Lawrence. Now, Travis Etienne, however, is just a running back. He saves us $2.41 million. That's not really a big savings. He's not really a big expensive player. Um, so we may just keep him around. As far as wide receiver, though, as far as wide receiver, though, we can save $11 million getting rid of Christian Kirk right now 
We would obviously save more next year because his penalty would go down to five million and his salary stays the same. So we'd be looking at uh, like a seventeen and a half million dollar savings, something like that. Sixteen and a half. I don't know. I'm not doing the math right. Anyway, what's up, Bobart? How we doing, my man? Uh, going to have a great career in real life. I like Lawrence. Hey, that's that, the whole premise. If you watched episode one of this series, the whole premise is that Trevor Lawrence is going to win a bowl in Jacksonville. I've been saying it. It's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. Um, so we could get rid of Kirk now, save the 11 and a half, or we could hang on to him for one more year and save more next year. But, it could save eleven and a half. Eight million dollars in the final year of his contract, Zay Jones. That is definitely somebody we want to save some money on. Um, so we'll probably end up getting rid of him. Uh then we turn around. Cam Robinson is in the last year of his deal. Obviously, like, you know, it's hard to find left tackle in the league. But for seventeen point eight million in savings. We might want to consider that. Okay. Um, rest of our line looking pretty cheap, except Brandon Scherf. He's obviously the best player on our line. Probably not a guy we want to get rid of, but he does save $16.5 million. Um, continuing through, we're not getting rid of any of that. John Franklin Myers would save us $13.9 million. Now, I brought him in to really beef that D lineup, and he definitely helped out a lot as a run stopper. But behind him, Dark Specta could be that guy. Um, he might end up actually being a nice scheme fit and being a very good run stopper slash power rusher at that right end position. So... Maybe, maybe we could move Franklin Myers to D tackle and save eight million dollars on Fularonzo Fatukasi before he becomes a thirty-year-old player. Again, options. What's up, as Guardian? What's up, RSV? How we doing, my guy? Look at this guy, Leighton Stoffer, coming in here. Love you, buddy. How you doing? All right, Adafe Owe is in the last year of his deal. But he's only a $2.21 million savings guy. That might be a guy we keep and try to get a long-term deal done with at the end of the year. Foya Sadalokan, $15 million savings getting rid of him. There's some big money cuts out here. There are some big money cuts out here. Um, Josh Allen, obviously he's staying. We, we gave him big monies to stay here for that second contract. Peters is done for. We, we'd have to re-sign him if we wanted to bring him back, which we may try to offer him something. I don't know that we're going to be able to keep him in, though. Um, and then we have Darius Williams, $10 million in savings there. I know the man has been, made a lot of picks over the last couple of years. Apparently, he's an X-Factor. I don't know where the fuck that came from. I have no idea where this came from, but apparently he's an X-Factor. Um, but that's $10 million we could save. Tyson Campbell's ready to go, but we would need more corner. We would need more corner. Terrell Burgess already looking for a deal. So that's that. Cisco doesn't save us much money, and I like the way he's played. And he's a nice little star dev. So Cisco's playing pretty well. I know, that's really freaking interesting, isn't it, Kaz? And it's not like, honestly, I don't, he's not going to have abilities, Clink. That's the thing. Like, Williams, yeah, maybe he's a keeper, but he's not going to have abilities. We're not going to save any money on Tyler Bass. We gave him big money. And Logan Cook is still here for two years. So there is some movement in money we can save. These two guys alone would give us, like, $34 million. Uh, add a Loakin in there. You're looking at $48 million. Add Franklin Myers in there. You're looking at 61, almost $62 million. 
And then these two guys in there, you could really get yourself a good like 80 some million dollars in cap space of savings. All these big money deals. Now, a lot of them are pretty good players. The worst of all of them is Robinson. Uh, and then there's Zay Jones down here. So those are some of the worst players. Um, so we have a lot to really think about. You know what I mean? There's a lot to think about. Now, guys that we really got to look at here. What's up, King Kendall? How we doing? I didn't see you in there. I don't know if I said hi to you or not. Uh, we got Morgan Fox. Morgan Fox is really probably not a guy we're really going to do too much with, honestly. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe give him, uh, I don't even know if I want to give him an offer, to be completely honest with you. We'll give him this really, really cheap offer right here, see if he comes in. Yeah, he's not He's not going to be interested in signing. We don't want him. Uh, I'd keep Sheriff and ditch the other old lineman. You can cheaper ones at his overall. That's kind of what I'm saying, CJ. Like, you know, I agree wholeheartedly there. Marcus Peters is a superstar, and it doesn't look like he really wants all that much money. Um, Let me see. If I give him a custom offer here of seven milli, yeah, he's not interested. So he'll be hitting the open market. All right, this is the guy that our only general manager channel member really wants us to keep, all right, because he named him. Now, we're going to try this kind of offer. I'm going to try to really lowball his ass and keep him here for quite a while. Yeah, see, he's going to test for age. I tried. Matthew, I tried, I swear. All right. So he's going to be gone. What else do we have? Jonathan Hall. This is another guy. I would go for the seven-year attempt on this guy. So he will take 1.7 a year. He's just not interested. There you go. No such thing as a bad one-year deal. I mean, that's that's kind of true. Here we go. This guy will be super cheap. There you go. He's taking the league minimum. So we can cut him whenever we feel like it. We brought him back. What else do we got? Daryl Hill. There you go. Here's another guy we can cut whenever we feel like it. No bonus. That's no risk. I'm all about that. I'm all about the no risk. Um... I'll even give this guy a million. I'm just not going to give him more than that. Yeah, he wants to go to free agency. That's fine. He didn't like being a member of the of the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's totally fine. Michael Alexander, he's not interested. That was what he wanted. He didn't want seven years, I guess. Hmm. That was the money he wanted. He just didn't want the seven years. All right, we're not going to offer any bonus. We'll give him a million bucks, though. All right, he wants free agency. There we go. I mean, these are all little guys. Burgess we'll deal with in a minute. Same thing with Hamilton. Uh, Barch actually has Dev. That might be something to take a peek at. Uh, Jacobs, I'm not going to go too serious with here. He's not going to be interested. That's fine. It's only a 68 corner. We can find those quite easily. As a matter of fact, we can get undrafted ones that are like that. Oh, there's a lot of things we're going to be able to do in the draft clink, especially if we decide to trade some guys away for picks. Um, but that, that's going to be, you know, depending on what, what we deem to be proper here. Ben Barch is a guy I'd like to bring back, but he is 26 at only a 69 overall. I would say a one year deal for him at one and a half is fair, but he doesn't want it. So he'll go kick rock somewhere. Caleb on doesn't really want to be a member of the team. I think a three-year deal for him is fine. I would give him that. Yeah, he doesn't want to be here either. So, really, it comes down to these guys. Now, you're a Jags fan? Hey, just incredible. What's going on? Welcome in. All right, let's see. David Hamilton, I would go three years on him. I'd give him two and a half, but there ain't no way he's getting that kind of bonus. We'll go two and a half, two and a half. Yeah, he's... He was wanting too much for a 76 overall. That wasn't going to work for me. Now, Burgess doesn't want to be here. This is bad. Burgess does not want to be here. That's because it is across the country from home. Being close to home is important to him. Um, If I go very player friendly, we can probably get him. I don't know that I want to do that, though. 
This isn't looking good for Burgess. Let me go very let me go very player friendly and one year. See if we can keep him one year. Nope. All right. I tried to give him the bag for a year. He didn't want it. Uh franchise tag is 18.2 mil. I'm, I don't know that anybody's worth that. So I'm not going to throw a franchise tag out there. I don't think we have anybody worth a franchise tag. So we really didn't get a lot. What's the mock draft looking like? Hmm. He said, uh, LOL, JK with JK. Welcome in. Hey, guys, you know, doing series like this will bring in a lot of fans of those kind of people. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. <laughs> he said, Kaz, you damn Titan fan. Bo Reynolds, if that ain't one of the best names, dude, Bo Reynolds is about to be a quarterback for the New York Jets, I think. That's a hell of a freaking name. I love it. Let's see. what We're obviously going to have pick 31, so we're not going to be in a good standing here in the draft. I like this, dude. I like this left tackle. Anybody else like this left tackle? Let me hear, see a show of hands. The Marcus Broyles is looking like a beast. Um, I like this. Be nice to the people that like teams that you don't have. <laughs> see, Clank, you know he's just messing around, bro. All right, let's see. Round number one. What's them physicals looking like? Oh, the combine's coming up. All right, so we'll have to take a look. But look at this. Awareness, impact blocking, run block finesse, pass block finesse, lead block. This guy's a freaking monster. I like him. Yes, I'll give you that, Kaz. Chef Kiss. I like him. There we go. King Kendall says show of hands. Yeah, I'd rather take him than this running back they got me taking. I I, I don't know, man. Once we get more information, this tight end's looking beastly. Not that we need tight end. Not that we need tight end. We'd have to get really high up in order to be able to grab the corners. Hey, look, we got a quarterback named Colton Barkley. Colton. Colton, have you seen my tablet? Uh, let me see here. What else do we got? Tavares Jones. Raphael Hendricks. What a freaking name. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. A, B, C vision, A, break tackle, A, carrying. Wow. A, trucking. Now that's a back. No wonder he's supposed to go seventh overall for a running back. I like this Assad over. Well, I like his name. I don't like his D-man coverage. I would not select him that high. Doing good, working, school, busy with girlfriend. Girlfriend? Hey, let's go, Peppa Jack. Claudio, what's going on? Hello from Brazil. Good evening. Go Jags. What's up? Welcome on in. Thank you for saying hello from Brazil. Welcome. Claudio, coming on in. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's get to free agency and see what kind of moves we're going to make. Here we go. Let's do this. It is time for free agency. All right, so free agency, you know, can be a really, really long process. But we get to look at the combine results now for some of these guys. Um, where was this dude? Um, he was at right tackle, right? Was it... Was it him? Lead block. Nah, it wasn't him. I forget what his name was already. You see that? Terrible. Here it is. Demarcus Broyles. That was his name. All right. Let me see here. What has he got? He's got, hey, he's got 33 bench reps. Second in the cone. Fifth in the shuttle. I like it. Yeah, I like this guy. A lot. I'm going to add him as a favorite. Though. I don't know where you can mess with your board anymore, so I don't know. Well, I might remove him as a favorite because I think that's going to make people like. He said, ooh, he's an athlete. Send it. Yeah, that dude's really good. That dude definitely fits with us. So we know we can grab that guy at left tackle, even though I don't know that our scheme fits like that. 
right? Isn't it? Uh, where are we at? West Coast spread. Yeah, so left tackle's supposed to be a power left tackle. I really don't like this West Coast spread thing, but I'd rather myself do a West Coast zone run. But it doesn't... Well, I guess they both really don't fit. Our offense doesn't fit either of that. What does our offense fit the best? Our offense can fit a spread. Left tackle supposed to be pass protector. He'd good on the be good on the right side though. I don't know. We could always change our scheme. It's not a big deal. That West Coast spread is sixty nine. Nice. West Coast power run is sixty nine. Vertical zone run is sixty nine. Nice. So we'll see. I mean, we could always move it. I'm not gonna move it yet. Might do it later, though. Your board is your favorites. Yeah, but I didn't see it. Got to head out to work, but trust me, if it's not busy, I'll sneak back into this stream. Good luck in the offseason. The Madden God's got you. Hey, I appreciate you, bankroll. Having a lot of fun watching your franchise? Thank you, Doopy. Thank you, Doop. All right, let's get this going. Um, Let's see what's available at free agency first. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Ooh. Ooh, Raiden, there are some people in here. I just don't know that we're going to be able to get them. I don't know if they want, like, they're not going to want to come here. You know what I mean? Like, Mariota, yeah, Trubisky wants to come here. Kirk Cousins, you know, those those guys want to come here. Running back, A.J. Dillon wants to come here. DeAndre Swift wants to come here. D. Swifty? He said Jay Herbo, too. Oh, Herbo's always in here, and he always ends up going to the Gi Giants, and he's probably going to end up going to the Giants. Cam Akers, he doesn't want to come here either. Uh, they got fullbacks. Ooh, Hollywood. Bro, if we get Hollywood, we don't need no Christian Kirk. I'm glad I don't work tonight. There you go, Asgardian. You can just sit back and chill, bro. Sit back and chill. Hopefully work doesn't hurt you too bad. Have a great shift. There you go. Ditto. Ooh, Hollywood, though. Ooh, Darnell Mooney. A little Darnell. Oh, man. We got some potential here. Ooh, I'd love to get Quez Watkins. He don't want to come here, though. Valdez, Scotty Miller, some guys out here, Anthony Schwartz. Where is my guy, though? Where is my dude that I was trying to get back here, and he didn't want to come back here? Here he is, Isaiah Walker. We could try to bring Isaiah Walker back. It seems like he wants to come back. I want to offer him something. I want to offer him one of those seven-year... Delios. Damn, I hang out with Walty too much. We're going to offer him that. He's probably going to make more. We're probably not going to keep him, but you know what? We had to go for it. Darren Waller. Y'all know... Y'all know my love for Darren Waller. You just know my love for Darren Waller. You just know it. <sighs> Goddamn. We can even make him more interested by changing our scheme. <laughs> but he likes that we have a Super Bowl chase. We're a league favorite. And we got a franchise QB. And he wants to come here. He said, let's do it. <laughs> Super team time. We'd have to save money first. We got to get rid of people to do that. Let's see. Left tackle, Jonah Williams would be nice. Jedrick Wills would be nice, but he don't want to come here. John Runyon will show up at the door if we want him to. We could change schemes, though, um, and we'd probably get a couple of people in. That would probably change some things. Werfs. What is worth scheme fit wise? Oh, this doesn't really show me what I want to see. View player card. There we go. Worfs would be a pass protector. You know, if we wanted to change 
to the spread, Werfs would fit perfectly at left tackle. Then we draft that left tackle for right tackle, and we would be looking Gucci. We'd be looking so good. Oh, man, I'd love to get Tristan Werfs. Cam Jordan, we don't really need. D-tackle, Ed Oliver would be nice at D-tackle. I ain't gonna, not gonna hold you. Nick Bosa would be a freak, but he don't want to come here. Rayshon Gary might want to come here, though. And if we're about to lose Owe, we could trade Owe. Man, you know we're only allowed to have, like, five active negotiations, though, so we really... How do we have three? Wait a minute. How do we have three negotiations? We're going to have to check that a minute. Middle linebacker we don't need, and those guys are old, so we'll be fine. Right outside linebacker, we got Joshy boy. We'll be okay. Oh, Diggs? Trayvon Diggs? Can you imagine a ball hawk like this back there for us? Lawrence, Hollywood, Waller, and ETN. We only got ETN for one more year, though. Waller, Bosa, and Werf, a Treyway. <laughs> that would be crazy. Shaq Griffin, do we bring Shaqy back? Do we bring him back? Unbelievable. We have options. Do we get Canny Dantzler? He's a little slow for me. I'd take Isaiah Rogers. I'd take Isaiah Rogers. We also need to look at free safety because what's his face here? Terrell Burgess don't want to come back, which is fine because we'll just take Johnny Johnson. I'll take Darnell Savage. I don't mind. I'd love Winfield, but he don't want to come. Jeremy Chin? Could bring Jeremy Chin in. Move him over. That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, Jay Tux is out there. We can't get him, though. We're not going to get him. It's not unrealistic for the Jags to spend money, too, for what it's worth. Oh, but see, I don't care if it's unrealistic or not. There's no way that I'm not going to spend money. How do we have three active negotiations, though, is my question. I only have one negotiation out there. So how are you going to tell me I have three negotiations? I don't. I have one. The game's cheating. The game's already cheating, guys. We are already being cheated hard by Madden. I have one offer, and it says that I have three in the top left up there. So we're already being cheated out of offers without even being cheated out of offers. If that makes any damn sense. EA Bowl, you damn right, Kaz. That's, see, there you go. That's one of the many emotes for being a channel member. You also automatically get yourself a player in here somewhere. Um. All right, so what I'm thinking, first and foremost, we, we should throw an offer at Hollywood. <sighs> He's obviously interested. We're just not going to give him Christian Kirk money. Like, I'll throw him four years at, I'm going to make my own custom offer, nine and a half with five. I think that's fair. That's what we're going to offer him. We'll see if it brings him to town. Now, Waller, I really want Waller, but we've got to, nah. You only get three first. Nah, you're supposed to get five. You're supposed to get five. That's a lie. You're supposed to have five. You get five, but I only have. I'm only gonna get four or three, because they said so. Um. Is see Angram? We can't get rid of Angram right now. We could get rid of Angram next year. We can't do it this year. 
He's got a six and a half million dollar bonus on him that next year would save us five million getting rid of him. So we maybe we go dual tight ends. Do we go dual tight ends and get Hollywood with Amon Ra and Alex O'Neill and double tight end that bitch? I think we do. <laughs> Technically, you get 15 offers in free agent week one, Kappa. Technically. Go on, do the wide receiver. He should be there next wave. Nah, I kind of want him. I kind of want him. Let's see what Waller's looking for. Oof, big bonus. Big bonus. Low salary. I don't like that. I don't like that, Wally. Even team friendly is for big bonus. See, that I don't like. That I'm not a fan of, though. Like, I'd give him three. I think three is fine. I would probably roll this to, like, six. But this got to come down. Like, it's got to be more like a... Like a 7-4 spread. For me to be happy. Let's try this. I don't have the salary cap? Oh, God. All right. We're going to have to make a couple of smaller moves first then. Hold on. Because you got to do it the right way. You're not, not going to get rid of people without knowing you have other people to fill the spot. Like, Werfs would be so great. Becton wants to come here more. We can probably get him cheaper. He's a power guy. He would fit there. He's a scheme fit right now as it stands. We're not going to be close to Iowa. Sorry, Tristan. Let's see. What kind of cap are we? Ooh, we are really low on cap. Mm, that's not going to be good then. We're going to have to take a look at something. If we wanted Trayvon... We're going to be close. Yeah, we don't have the money. We're going to we're going to have to make some moves real quick. A couple of moves we don't care about. Like we moves that we don't care how it's going to affect us. Put it that way. So let's say for one Zay Jones, right? So uh that's not what I wanted to do. Zay Jones Trade away. What do we get? David Bog Nasty in a sixth? We could get D Bog and a sixth round pick? I think that's, they're giving up a lot doing that. I'm taking this deal. That's going to bring in a subscriber player right there. We just brought in David Bognasty. Look at this guy. We brought in D-Bog. 96 speed D-Bog. We don't even need Hollywood Brown right now. We got Bognasty. For Zay Jones, look how much cheaper he is. Look at this. Look at that cheap-ass deal. We're in, baby. That's a big move we just made. See, we would lose money getting rid of Waller. I mean, getting rid of Ingram right now. That's why we kind of need to keep him. If we get rid of Robinson, who's probably next in line to go, if we're being real, we really need to bring in a tackle. I like Westbrook at a guard, and he's cheap. I like Santos at center, and he's cheap. I Sheriff is a little expensive. 
If we were to get rid of, though, Robinson, and we draft that one tackle, and we bring in another tackle, I think we have our O-line issues done. Let's see. What do we get for Cam Robinson? Cody James! Ice pick? Wait a minute. If we're going to be getting a bunch of subscribers, subscubas, we could get Michael Carter. Harrison Smith is old, but he could be a safety. He could solve that that Terrell Burgess spot. Or we could take ice pick. And we get Dominique Robinson. Not that that's too great of offers, but I mean, honestly, if we're looking, maybe the Bengals will give us a pick. Let's see. One pick only is all we're allowed. Maybe the Bengals will give us, I don't know, a second or a third maybe. I don't know if I like their picks particularly. The Browns, they don't have the cap room to take him. Neither do the Cardinals. None of these teams have any cap. The Colts could take him. They apparently want him. I'm not trading him to the Colts in division like that. The Niners don't have any cap. The Jets have cap. We could give him to the Jets for their second. What do you think? Where's my chat at? Got to run that Patriots playbook if you do two tight ends. I would like to. I might have to do it. I might have to run that close up. Do we think the Jets might give us a two, maybe a three for them? He said, I'm here for it. Let's see if they give it to us. They're not giving us the two. It's a pretty high two. We could probably move up. We could probably roll them like a four or a five, maybe. Can we give them a five and do it? There we go. We're giving them a five back. It's one of those typical trades. All right, you give us a two, we give you a five back. He said, go for the one, fuck it. <laughs> nah, I don't want to be too too greedy and, and unrealistic about it. I understand that sentiment too, though. That would be something I, you know, I wouldn't mind, but also, is it too much, you know? Um, Obviously, at corner, if we get digs... I don't know about keeping Williams, but we'll see. I think we've just made a little bit of room to go out there and make some offers. we got to see wh who comes. He said, do a six. Too late. Too late. It's gone. All right, let's see. If we offer, hmm. If we offer Becton, because it should be simple. We go team friendly for five. His money never makes it to 10 mil. I like that deal. Uh, we go over to Diggs. Oh, we're maxed out on offers. Already. I've offered three people and I can't offer any more. Should I withdraw Marquise? Let me withdraw Marquise real quick. I have Walker in on an offer for now. Let me try to get digs. He said Beckton's a big dude. <laughs> All right, Diggs wants to come here, so if I ooh, God, he's expensive. Golly, he costs. He costs. What about Shacky Poo? He only wants one year. No such thing as a bad one year deal. Let me see here. Diggsy on a team friendly multiple year deal. We'll go five. I'm going to try to take back a little more and see what he does. I know. I got to try it though. All right, let's eval. First eval. Players have done their thing. All right, cool. Let's see what we got. Top 100s. Woo, goodbye to Bosa. Jay Herbo is a giant. Gary is a jet. 
Jay Herbo gone. No running backs out. No receivers out. Higby goes to the Colts. Wills and Jonah Williams are gone. Ruiz is to the Colts. We still got a shot on Beckton. We're not winning him, though. That's the problem. We need to win. We need to win that. Um, Diggs became a Jaguar. Okay. Okay. Trayvon Diggs. We got him. That I would consider that pretty cheap what we got him for just then. He's going to be a main piece. Griffin goes to the Texans on a one-year deal. I would have loved to offer him, but we weren't able to do it. Peters, I would have offered Peters again, too. Because I think we maybe could have saved money. What if I go for Isaiah Rogers on a team-friendly, multi-year contract? That's cheap. Then I could get rid of Williams. We'll have Diggs and him. John Johnson's a scheme fit in our 3-4, and he likes us because we're on a Super Bowl chase. Maybe John Johnson will take a... Uh... Oh, what the hell? Where's my targets? I'm not allowed to have more targets. Oh, my God. This game is cheesing hard, bro. All right, we're going to have to up Beckton's offer. Um, I went on Team Friendly. We're going to give him 5 mil. and f We're going to keep it at 3.5. We're going to give him 5.5. I don't know if that's going to help or what it's going to do, but we got to give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what it happens. All right. Targets have been disappearing. And we did not get back then, I don't think. Yeah, he went to the 49ers. Wow, we are losing on tackles badly. We are getting beat hard on tackle. It's glitches. You got to love glitches, bro. You got to love glitches, Raiden. It's my favorite. It is literally my favorite. Um. So we got digs. Did we get... John? Oh, we didn't go couldn't go for John, right? So did we get anybody? My signings. We got Isaiah Rogers. So corners have been gotten. We can get rid of Darius Williams now. Because I'm not gonna spend that much money at a corner position where picks are plentiful. But I mean Isaiah Rogers at three mil a year. That's easy, easy dough. This is easy. Um, Trayvon Diggs at that price, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Campbell's got one more year left on him. And he'll play. He'll play for us. Let's see what their offers are. I usually don't like this for trading away people. I haven't really loved it. Nate Davis, Shaq Thompson, Tyus Bowser, Derek Griffey, a right guard and a seventh, Zadarius Smith. There's actually some decent offers here. Elijah Vera Tucker. I don't know who Dewan Davidson is, but he might be really good. Worf and Winfield Jr. I don't know if we have that much money to throw around, but we'll see. We'll see if we can't. Werfs is going to cost us a lot. He doesn't want to come here. He does not want to come here. Nate Davis, I don't know that any of those guys can play tackle is my issue. Let's see. If we went for the pick, if we went for the pick, one, who can afford him? Who needs corner? Who can afford him? Who has a pick I want? The Chiefs don't want him. The Colts want him, but I am not giving him to the Colts. It's not going to happen. Uh, the Falcons, I wish, needed him more. The Giants will take him. 
You know what? I'll give them to the Giants. They just signed Jay Herbo. You want to give me the 22nd overall pick for your boy? Man, this is an X factor, and they don't want to give me the 22nd pick? How about the Lions? They like to make dumb trades. Sorry. Sorry, Raiden. Uh, they have no interest in giving me their first. How about their second? Their second's pretty high. Ooh, pretty close. Pretty close. Their second's pretty high up there. What if we gave them this seven I'm going to have no use for? Declined. We don't feel it would be bringing us enough. All right, we'll give them two sevens. Two sevens and Darius Williams for a second. We'll take that. What's up, Kenyon Baez? What's going on? Welcome in. He said Brad Holmes would never. All right, we took we took their, their high up second round pick. There we go. Our corner room is pretty good. We're in good shape there. Um, you know, at free safety, we could always play this guy, Reese. I don't know that we want to, but I'm just saying we could. Cisco, we're good there. All right, so we've signed corners. We've traded a corner. We're in good shape there. Now, we use that said $10 million savings, and we try to use it on somebody. We have only targeted Isaiah Walker. However, they don't want to let us do what we want to do. So, we're going to go for Tristan Wirfs. How many offers does Tristan Wirfs have on him? He has three teams interested. Well, Tristan Wirfs is going to take a nice little boatload of moolah. All right. He's going to take a lot. This man is going to cost us. We're going to go down to $8 million in bonus and 9.5 in salary. I don't believe in double digits. We'll see if that works. That's what I'm willing to give Wirfs. If he goes elsewhere, that's cool. That's totally fine. Uh, Pepper Jack also wanted us to get Winfield Jr., which I kind of want also, but he is not interested. John Johnson is the guy that makes a lot more sense to be a Jag. I will go team friendly with it. I will give him that third year also. I'll give him an extra little bit in salary and take a little bit of bonus away. I think he's worth our time to see if he wants to become a Jag. All right. Evaluated. Winfield's going to be a bear. So there's that. John Johnson's still up there in our targets list. Werf still in our targets list. We are not beating the Bears. How do the Bears? The Bears got so much money, dude. All right. So we have no more eval. Do we have one more eval period? We have no more eval period. So we would have to sim forward. We're going to go ahead and we're going to up our Tristan Werf thing. I'm going for a six year. I'm going to go for a six year at eight mil there and nine and a half here. I might even go for a seventh year. There you go. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're playing fuck it ball with Tristan Werfs. All right. We got no more negotiations, so we're going to have to let it ride, even though I don't want to. Even though I don't want to do it, we got to let it ride. All right, advancing to the next week. Here we go. We got Pro Day results up now. Let's check out these free agents. Bears are the Bears. Bears, Bears. You got to love Bears, Bears. All right, so targeted guys. Werfs, we're still behind the Bears. John Johnson's getting a push here from the Jets now. Fuck. I wish I remembered what I offered him. I went team friendly on a three-year deal. You know what? We'll push that fourth year. To like a six mil salary, three and a half mil bonus. We'll push. We'll push. I'm trying to make a push there. And then Werves will try to up him a little bit. I was going team friendly. I think we'll go neutral on a seven year neutral nine and nine and a half. There you go. We're offering big money. We're doing what I think we could do. It could hurt us in the long run. <laughs> We're throwing money all over the place. Waller's gone now, so we don't have to worry about that. Looks like we're sticking with Evan. We are sticking with Evan. 
Uh, what is available now is like scraps. Daniil Hunter's there. How much does he want? He wants a lot. Money we can't offer him. Put it that way. Patty Queen. Now they got Chido Chidobe Awuzie as a superstar? What? And only wants a one-year deal? Damn. If I'd have known. Terrell Burgess still out there. Bobby McCain. I don't know that I want to do any of that. Uh, Chuck Clark. Jordan Whitehead moved to free safety. Potential. Potentially. I don't like any of this, though. We really got to bring in that that the guys that we have targeted. That's what it boils down to, I think. Let's see what the eval brings us. We have nobody targeted. My signings. We have Isaiah Walker. Okay. So we got nobody. We got nobody at tackle. Werfs went to the Bears. We got nobody at safety. Johnson went to the Jets. All right, let's see if we can get Burgess back. I will give him a one-year deal at a bunch of money. I tried to do that already. There we go. We'll give him a one-year deal at a bunch of dough. Nobody was super clamoring to get him, so. Well, what else was there? Middle linebacker, I feel like we have the answer. Um, if we wanted to get rid of Foyasad, we probably... Yeah, I don't really want to do that. We have picks now, some. We could bring in the guy that would be our new ETN. Go, Aaron Judge broke the AL home run record with 62. There you go. Yep. Hey, it was going to happen, right, Antonio? It was going to happen eventually. No, Waller signed already. Waller was signed when I simmed the week. I had no chance to even give him an offer because the game wouldn't give me my five offers that I am owed. Put it that way. The game would not let me do it. They didn't want me to be able to offer to all these guys. We could go for DeAndre Swift. I don't know. For all this money, I'd rather pay ETN next year than pay all that money. Can we get... Uh, oof, I don't even know, man. Can we get Kirk Cousins as our new backup quarterback? 1.5. Let's give him a 1 million bonus. 2 million. There you go. $3 million backup quarterback. I don't even know what else to go after right now. Wide receiver. We could do the Hollywood Brown thing again. We could go team-friendly deal, say it's five years. I'm not going to pay him a lot. I'm going to offer him low money. I don't want to pay a receiver like that, but we could try. See if that floats his boat at all. All right, targets. Yeah, so nobody is... Uh, Oh, we signed Kirk. Okay, we signed Terrell Burgess for a year. He's coming back. All right, it's starting to come together. It's starting to pull together. So if Hollywood Brown wants to roll in, we're the only ones offering Hollywood Brown. I could probably go with a six-year. We're going to go six million here, and we're going to get him under... 10 a year total. There we go. We're going to do that for now. All right, let's look at some other things. Ladies and gents, let's go to team salaries. All right, so we got Cousins as our new backup. This John Simpson guy is probably going to end up going on the practice squad or whatever. Um, same with some of these guys. We're good there, though. We're good. We need nothing there. Austin, I, I just kind of want to cut. There we go. We're going to cut Kevin Austin. There we go. Receiver room, pretty full.
tight end room. Pretty full. Tackles were in trouble. Um, we'll figure it out. That means Scherf should stay. We got to draft that tackle. That dude's going to be a must. Let me see what they want to give us for John Franklin Myers. They want to give us Taylor Rapp. They want to give us Higby. They just signed Higby. They want to give us Rayshon Evans, Lakin Tomlinson, Jonathan Jones, Kenneth Walker, Hardman, Thielen. Yeah, nothing I really want. Um, but that would save us $13 million. We'd be playing Dark Specta at that point. Let me see. If we could get a big pick for him. Like, I really don't want him in the AFC, though. Falcons? Pick 29 for him? That's really close. I'll give you a next year's six with John Franklin Myers. There we go. We get pick 29. I don't think that trade logic is is broken. He kind of reminds me. That reminds me of the DeForest Buckner trade. I'm okay with that. Now, we'll go look for a backup right end. And Dark Specta can start there. We might also be looking for a D tackle. We have plenty at middle linebacker. Muma and Devin Lloyd. Should be enough. <laughs> oh, I sneezed so hard my headset came off. Look at that shit. All right, let me see here. If we are looking for a right end or a D tackle, who's out here? Available. Uh, Yeter Gross Matos. All right, so there's no real youth. Gross Matos would be a guy that I would maybe bring in. I don't know. He's not quite a run stopper, but he's not quite not a run stopper. That's a guy we could bring in. Let me see here. I know he doesn't want to come in, but we give him a four-year. Come on in and be the backup. I don't want to pay him bonus. All right, we'll see. If there's, like, nobody interested in him, he may, he may join the squad. D-tackle, I'm kind of looking for somebody, but... We would need a scheme fit. Tear Tart. Ross Blacklock? We can bring in Ross Blacklock at a TCU. Bring him in for like a five. Ooh, we'll keep him at 1.5. I like that money. We'll keep him at 1.5. 700K bonus. There you go. Jeremy Chin long gone. We'll take a look at him. I mean, we kind of got our... We got our safety. Yeah, Jeremy Chin's gone. This is what's left. Chuck Clark and some other guys. Jamar Johnson, I might go ahead and try to get. Team friendly, big money, big deal, no money. We'll try that. There you go. We'll put those offers out. Let's see what they what happens there. He said, hmm, guess I missed this one on the schedule, Pamp, or did I see it for this week at all, I wonder? I don't know. I put it everywhere. I'm pretty sure I put the schedule this week everywhere. So, pretty sure. Let me see. My signings. We got Blacklock. All right. So, Blacklock comes in at five years. He'll be at, out at D tackle. Yeeter and Jamar were pretty close. Available guys. Let's see. We got our backup quarterback. Doesn't look like anybody's interested in DeAndre Swift at running back. So if I turn around and I do something like this and we get him, 
ETN could be on the outs. I'm just saying. We're going to give him an offer. Nobody else is offering him. We're going to offer the guy. We got Marquise Brown on a six-year deal. We are now trading Christian Kirk. Y receiver. We got Hollywood. We don't need you. First, I'll look at their offers. If I don't like them. Ooh, Daxton Hill? We might have to look at that. Garrett Wilson. Jonathan Jones, a third and a fifth. Hold up. If they will give me him with a pick, I'm in. We're taking that all day, every day. We won. We won the trade. I don't care. That's, that's a dub. Taking that deal. So now Burgess will stay here as a backup to both sides, free safety and strong safety. So we got a solid backup for one season. We don't have to worry about re-signing him or anything next year. He's just here. Daxton Hill is our new muse. Mmm, baby boy. I like him. That's a big dub. We got exactly what we were looking for. So now ETN's here. We got Hollywood. We got Amon Ra. We got Alex O'Neal. We got Debog. We got Bo Melton. We got Isaiah Walker. Our receiver room is full. We are not drafting a wideout. Uh, I am down to draft as of now. Running back, tight end. Late round quarterback, if there is one, just as a thing. We need left tackle. It's getting circled. All right. Left guard, you can never, you know, take too many linemen. Right guard is big. I would like to replace Scherf before he's gone off the team. Right tackle is big. Those are three big spots I'd like to get. Uh, a defensive end, backup type of guy that could maybe back up both sides. We're trying to sign one. A Z tackle would be huge for Fadu Kasi to leave next year or even trade him now. Uh, left outside linebacker would be really nice. We've, we're getting picks in, so that's huge. We could trade a Loakin now and start Muma and Lloyd. I don't know if that is going to be of interest to us, but we could do that. Perhaps a corner to replace Campbell next year. And maybe a strong safety because Cisco is on a one-year deal. So, like, that's kind of what I'm looking at. What's up, Rocky Top? My man, Rocky Top. How you doing, brother? All right, let's see how this free agent signings continue. So, I'm um, still looking at some guys. Let's see. Backup tight end. We could get Albert O. Nobody's going after Albert O. If I give him a five-year, super low-money contract, will he take it? You never know what guys will take. We're not going to offer him money, but he might take the deal. Uh, Tyrell Crosby's a scheme fit, but he sucks, and I don't want him. Ezra Cleveland's, like, cool and all, but nah. 
Yeah, I don't I don't like any of our alignment options that are left. Defensive end and tackle. I've been trying to bring a guy in, but it's been difficult. We got Blacklock. That was really all I saw that I was big on. Gross mottos were trying, but I'm not really gonna up the money. So if the Saints are willing to go for more money, they can. Uh, left outside linebacker, obviously Owe is in the last year of his deal, but I could really use somebody between 89 and 73. You know, if it was, there was like an 81 in there, that would probably suit us a little better. Malik Harrison. I wonder what a guy like him would look like on the outside. What kind of player is he? He's a run stopper over field general and pass coverage, which means what kind of ratings is he looking at? Does he have, like, block shed and stuff? Because he might actually work. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't have good moves. I don't see what his – oh, his block shedding's up there, 72. Yeah, he's not going to be much of a rusher. He's probably – he does have some high motors and stuff. Let's see. If I get him and I try to – Give him like this really, really cheap, I don't really want to pay you type of contract. And he comes here. We'll figure out what to do with him. All right. Uche. You know what? Uche might be really good. Let's let's try to get him. Here's another guy. If nobody's going for him and we win him, cool. If people want him and they're going to pay him, that's cool. I'm not. These are offers I'm throwing on the table just to see if we get any nibbles. We get nibbles. Hey, nibbles it is. One team is interested in Jalen Johnson, so we're probably not going to be able to get him. One team interested in Dantzler. I'm just trying to see if there's a guy that I throw. Scheme fit Ohemudia. Nobody going for him. Ayo. Ohemudia. Do you want to sign right away, Amudia? We'll try. We'll see what we can do. See if we bring him in. Uh, we brought all that in. Chuck Clark. Nothing I'm really interested in. I'm trying to get Jamar Johnson as a nice little backup type of guy. All right. I think we'll go ahead and... Oh, there's no more evals. All right. So we're going to move ahead to stage three. We're rolling on in free agency, my dudes. We are rolling on. We're almost at the draft. Being at the draft is big. All right, fifth-year options. We have fifth-year options to accept. Trevor Lawrence on a fifth-year option. Uh, Yeah, we're going to accept that. Yeah, no question. We are going to pick up Trevor Lawrence's fifth-year option for sure. We have to pick that up. And then we got another one, and that is on ETN. I just know that whatever he's going to make in this fifth-year option, he's not going to be worth it. Because he's a running back, and we can get a running back for less. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up. Um... I might try to re-sign him, but I'm not going to pick up his option. Running backs just aren't going to be worth it. I don't like taking running backs first round for that reason. Uh, who did we get? We got Diggs. We got Brown. We got Rodgers. We got Burgess. We got Blacklock, Cousins, and Walker. We didn't get anybody else? Wow. All right. So everybody else we're looking for, we are behind the Bucks in Ohemudia. I need some dominoes to fall so I know what else I got to go for. We got to go ahead and eval. All right, we might have gotten some more guys. We got DeAndre Swift for no money. We just paid nothing for DeAndre Swift, guys. We just paid him spit. That's what we paid him. Alberto, we paid him nothing. Jamar Johnson, we paid him nothing. 
We're looking good. We're still the only guy in on Uche. Malik Harrison doesn't look like we're going to win him. The Jacksonville Lions Kappa. That's a joke. Don't kill me. I won't kill you, Clank. I know you're joking around. I know you're joking, brother. All right, what are we? We're looking at DeAndre Swift being our starting running back. We could trade Travis Etienne. Blowjob Hill. Ooh, Jonathan Sanchez in a fifth? Mmm, that is definitely tough to pass on. Greenlaw, Thibodeau? <sighs> this is tough. Nwosu, Kinlaw. Kinlaw's getting a little up there now, though. I'm going to take a peek at Thibodeau, Greenlaw. So we got to go to the Falcons, the Giants, and the Chargers. I want to take a look real quick. So the Chargers want to offer me this guy. Because they're not using him. He's a star dev. Jonathan Sand, his block shedding is really good. He might be a decent outside linebacker also. We could probably play him on the left, and he still has three years left on his rookie deal. Okay. So there's that. They want to offer me Greenlaw. I don't know how much he's going to have left on his deal. He's more of a pass coverage guy, which doesn't exactly fit us. What is his contract? Oh, he's got three more years left that we wouldn't have to pay. That ain't bad. Oh, what the hell? No, oh, I was doing something, game. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let me go to the Giants then real quick and check out... Kayvon, he's in, he's got two years left. So he's not at the end of his rope yet. Kayvon's a power rusher, which if I'm not mistaken, is exactly what we need here. Do you need an edge? Giants trade offer seems hella good. That Chargers offer is pretty good also. He said, I might kill him. Might kill who? Look, if they want to give me Kayvon Thibodeau, For Travis Etienne. They have Odell on the Giants. Did not know this. All right. Will they give us a second in Thibodeau for him? No. All right, how about that third? We got that third in that last trade. How about a third? Mmm, close. They'll probably give us Thibodeau in a fourth. Yep. Thibodeau in a fourth. Cave on Thibodeau. All right, this is where everybody stops watching the Jaguars franchise because I'm such a shrewd negotiator. <laughs> ah, Javian Hawkins will be on the team for one more year. And I am. I'm a very shrewd negotiator, okay? Sue me. Alberto, we got for, like, nothing. That means Drew Sample can basically kick rocks. What do they want to give us for him? Anything? Oda Nigbo. Just trying to see if there's anything of any 
value that they would be willing to give us. No? Does anybody actually want a tight end? Just curious. Maybe like a fifth round pick. I'd be willing. I'd be very willing. How about the Bears? Da Bears. Would you be willing to give your fifth round pick for this guy? No? How about a sixth round pick? How about a next year's fifth round pick? Wow. All right. So this is probably not going to work. Oh, there we go. A next year's sixth round pick. We'll take it. We don't even run fullback, bro. You traded Robinson just to let ETN be the future, and then you do this shit. We wanted Lawrence gone, not ETN. You know, that's realistically what I might see in the comments section. Not going to lie. All right. I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past YouTube. See, one thing we don't have to make me comfortable is a big D tackle. Now, we have Thibodeau. Thibodeau is going to go like this. He's going to go like this. And he's going to go like this. And he's going to go over here. And he's going to be just fine right where he is. Now, before we end up getting nothing, what do we get for Adafi Owe? Ooh. We got offers. I don't know who Trendon Richardson is, but we got an offer. Grady Jarrett. Too old. I don't know who Trent Allen is, but we get him with a fifth. Jarvis Landry. This Derek Griffey guy, they really want to give him up. They're like, please take him. Nothing I want, particularly, but if we go with Dafe Owe, go find Eddie Goldman, why do I want old people? Did they just sign him? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see real quick here. So we can really help ourselves out with a big bad D tackle. Alan Shepard, huh? Could be big. Jordan Davis is a monster. Not, I don't know. I'd be more comfortable trading for a fake guy than a real guy. R.L. Richards. A uh, Raiden. My franchise is offline, Chris. Ooh, and they want to do it? Ooh, all right. We go Owe and a fourth. You know what? Owe and a third. Woo! They're driving a hard bargain on this guy. He's such a good player, though. I really want him. A third and a six can't do it. Got to give up picks, man. Got to give up picks. Third and a fourth. Shit! They're going to want something more important. How about our last second? And then they're going to give us back a fourth. How about that? Can we do that? Will you be down? Will you be down? Oof. They won't give us the fourth back. How about a fifth? Fifth ain't important. Come on, you don't even need the fifth. All right, a sixth? Wow, y'all are fucked up. A next year's sixth? Decline still. Wow, they don't want to give us anything. They said away in a second. Wow, they're not going to give us anything. They may not even give us this. Wow. All right, we're going to have to roll in a... Next year, six, and they're going to roll a next year, seven. There we go. Owe, a two and a six. Richards in a seventh. We have gotten the one, the only Raiden in the channel. 
Is it safe to do either one, or is there still bugs? There's still bugs, Chris. There's there's bugs all over. There's bugs all over this game right now. <laughs> I hate to tell you. It's bad. Oh, and he's got two skill points? You mean he's got two skill points, though? Oh, baby. Yeah, I like him. I like him. I like him. Fadokasi doesn't need to be here now. All right. We're making a bunch of moves. People are going to hate this episode, but whatever. Don't care. John U. Smith. Quandre Diggs. Yeah, none of this is anything I want. Anybody want Fadakasi? Who wants him? In the NFC. Not you fuckers. Nah, NFC. Fuck you. Uh, who's got money, first off? Uh, the Falcons got money. They don't want him. The Niners don't have money. The Giants barely have money. Ooh, we might have to trade him to the AFC. Oh, wait, the Panthers want him. I don't know why they want him, but they want him. How about a first-round pick? Nah, it wasn't going to happen. Anything on this Panthers team I want? Kwan Wu. How about a Kwan Wu for him? Ooh. If I can give him this fourth. I think it's more than worth it. Wow. Eh, I got a next year seventh I can give him. We'll do it. We'll do it. I don't want Cox. He said it. If people hate this, then they don't know ball. Fair. Welcome back, his guardian. Welcome back, sir. All right, we got a Quan Wu now. Where does he fit? Right where he is. Right where he is, he fits. Now we can tool it. I like this a lot, guys. I like it a lot. I really like what we've done here. They must not turn, Raiden, but I heard you like those. Ah, shit. Man, T Clank out here with all these jokes, bro. We still best be getting that left tackle. I want to, yeah. Oh, I don't want to stop here. We got plenty of picks for a reason. All right, let's see what happens with these guys. Uh, did we just bring in somebody? No, we did not. I thought maybe, but, but we didn't. Uh, looks like the Giants want Uche now that they got rid of Thibodeau. That's going to be their big signing, I guess. Looks like they're going to get him. Yep, they got Uche. All right, so Yeter Gross Matos. Let's see if there's anybody else we can um, sink our... What? Dobbins is available now? When did he become available? Fuck it. You know what? You know what? Nobody wants him either. Everybody's going to yell in the comment section. They're all going to yell. I know it. I don't care. I really don't care. All right. We did that. Nobody's interested in Ezra Cleveland. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I kind of do, but... I'd be interested in Ezra Cleveland for no money. Look, if nobody wants these guys, I'm going to put offers. Okay? Nobody wants them. If they come here, it's on them. They know what it is. 
We're trying to win a, a fucking bowl. We're trying to win a bowl, guys. That's it. That's simple. Samson Ebukam. I do like some Ebukam. I'm not going to give him big money. I mean, big, big years. Ebukam for cheap? How many more we got? We got unlimited offers, too. Daniil Hunter has nobody offering him. Daniil Hunter doesn't have an offer. I will give him more money than most people are giving him. Well, than literally anyone is giving him. I will give him five million bucks a year with no bonus. I know. I'm being a cheap ass. It's how you win. Any corners I can get? Nobody wants Jalen Johnson? <sighs> Motherfucker. He said, fuck all the haters. Need a less need style shirt that says, fuck them expensive players. I, I'm cheap, man. All right? I'm cheap. Because I'm cheap. Because I believe you will buy booze with it. That's a little uh, liar liar for you guys, all right? Bro, is nobody interested? Nobody's interested in Justin Tucker either. I'm pretty close to being interested. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to do it. All right. Let's, uh, we have no more evals. So this is it. This is the end. My greatest friend. We have gone ahead and we have offered everything that we can. The rest will have to be done through the draft. We'll have to write it down, see what we need. We'll have to take a nice deep look in this mock draft, get our private workouts going. Let's do the free agency recap. Let's show you all what happened. My signings. Here we go. Trayvon Diggs, Marquise Brown, DeAndre Swift. We did not get Dobbins. Rodgers, Burgess. We got Gross Matos. Albert O, Blacklock, Jamar Johnson, Kirk Cousins, and Isaiah Walker. All right, so we did not get some of the big boys. There you go. Herbert and Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is a lion, Raiden. Jay Herbo, a giant, as he usually is in this game. There's Akers. There's Edwards E. Lair, Gibson, Dylan, Zach Moss, the only ones to get signed. T. Higgins going to the Ravens. Gabe Davis. There's Claypool, Edwards, Gage, Chenault, Devontae Parker, Duvernay. Waller's a Titan. Fucking Kaz would be jumping for joy. Jedrick Wills goes to the Bears. Should have signed Nick Bosa. I couldn't. Let me tell you something, Spec. That at the beginning of free agency, at the beginning of free, look at that. Werfs and Wills to the Bears. That's ridiculous. Beckton goes to the Niners. Uh, at the beginning of this free agency, when you're supposed to get five offers, I only was able to put in three. Specta. They wouldn't even let me put my five offers in. That's how much they didn't want me to get players. The Bears also did just sign Ed Oliver, so yeah, I wasn't going to trade for him if they just signed him. There's Kinlaw, superstar guy. He's 26, but they were trying to trade him too. And Nick Bosa's a bear. The Bears went big money spending, Specta. The Bears are going to be good. I like what the Bears have. I like what they went out and bought, put it that way. Corners, big play slay to the Broncos. Awuzie ends up with the Saints. Winfield Jr. to the Bears as well. They bought, like, all the young talent, bro. They really did. Jeremy Chin's a lion. So is Jordan Fuller. They get two strong safeties for whatever reason. Nobody signed a kicker. And the Ravens signed one punter. So there you go. That's pretty much what happened. What the fuck is that, FG? That's what I'm saying. Yo, what up, Ty Spot? How we doing, homie? All right, private workouts. I don't know why it did that. It just, it did that. All right, who do I need more info on? I would say to make a good decision, I want to know more about him because he fits our scheme. 
I want to know more about... Yeah, I want to know all the numbers on that guy. He's 70%. We're pretty close. I want to know more about him. Because trade-ups will be possible. And I want to know what I would be trading up for. And then I'm thinking... I love DeMarcus Broyles. We already know about him, though. Uh, Wasn't there... Somebody, he, DeMarcus Broyles has moved up the board. This guy's got D run block. I don't care about him. I like this guy. I might want to know him. I'm really wanting to know about the line. The line is where I'm concerned. It's where I want to spend a lot of my time, though. I do like this right outside linebacker. And he may be worth looking at. Maybe this safety, too. He's looking really nice. You know what? We'll go with the safety. We got some linemen up there. I got to go ahead and take a look at him. Never heard of that glitch before? Yeah, I was only able to do three guys. It's crazy. Was only able to offer three people. It was really stupid. Really dumb. Um. All right, so we've done that. All right, we got to really do a nice, educated look here. Let's look at this mock draft. Let's prepare the right way. So Bo Reynolds, the consensus number one pick here, pretty much only wasn't twice, and that was this Manny Kinney guy who sneaks his way up there. We're not going to be able to do that. But here in this fifth mock draft, it knows all the first rounders that we have. We're going to have some movement, um, potentially. I took a look. Where was the tackle? The first tackle I took a look at, figuring that we could get there. Um, It was down a bit, I guess. There's Broyles. They have him going 24 now. I don't like that particularly. Uh, they have us taking this running back and another running back. Are you fucking kidding me, game? EA, you told us this wouldn't happen. You told us this. You lied. I don't like liars. All right, this guy's 100%. I don't like him. I don't like him. I like Broyles. I'm a big fan of him. I like this guy. B-A-B-B, -B -B, I like him. I want Tatum. I want Broyles, but we're going to have to move up. Those two first-round picks got to go up. We're going to have to use some firepower. Yeah, I guess I need two more halfbacks after fucking signing DeAndre Swift. Makes a lot of sense. All right. He said, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Me either. Let's go take a look at our picks real quick before we j hop into the draft. Oh, we got trade offers for Terrell Burgess. I don't know if I want to trade him, but let's see what they're offering. Dexter Lawrence. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to trade him. Nope. If it was picks, maybe. But I think he's better served on our squad. Um, picks. All right. We have 29, 31, 33, 35, 89, 95, 118, and 191. So that's two ones, two twos, two threes, a four and a six. Uh, It ain't a heat issue. GPO, GPU isn't overheating, so I don't fucking know. I'm going to deal with it more tomorrow. Damn. I don't know, bro. I wish I knew more, to be honest with you. I just don't... I don't really know about that kind of stuff. Like, if it was happening to me, I'd be doing the same thing you're doing. Looking it up, trying to find it, but... Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I have not seen that kind of stuff going on. All right. Let's see. Yeah, he's getting, like, a weird checker thing. I don't know. Colton... 
Colton's a little player, isn't he? He got deep accuracy and shit. Colton's a little player. We're not really looking for quarterback, but, you know, Colton's a little player. Uh, Running backs. Okay, so I do like this Hendricks guy, but he's probably not going to fall to us. If he does, I want him, but that'd be the only running back I would want. Let's see. This guy, BTK, can't carry, though. Ooh, this guy might be nice. All right, so running back, I'm looking at day three. Deontay Bates, I would draft. I'll favorite him. Um, I like him. I like what he shows. I like Deontay Bates. I don't mind this guy, but I don't think he's going to be any good. Same thing here. This guy may not be bad, Jalen Booth. All right, there we go. We like those guys. Let's see, wide receivers. I'm not really looking to draft any. I didn't even write them down. I really want to find other things to draft. There's a top five tight end we're not going to get. Hurst is really nice. He looks really, really good. Uh, we may not be able to get him either, though, which is fine. I like Maddox. Nice possession. I like Clements. Nice possession. These guys all look good right here. These guys, all these possession guys look really good. Um, those are guys I could see picking up. I don't really see a lot else that I want. This possession guy ain't bad in the UDFA spot, but I'll mark him. We're probably not going to get him. Um, What else we got? That would be the only one I know that could help you. Oh, JT, yeah. JT is a good dude. Broyles. Oh, Hannon we looked at. Hannon ain't bad. I like Hannon. He's got a ABB. I would take that. Uh, Not big on the rest of these guys. This guy down here could be okay. A three to four round talent. Not bad. We did some due diligence on the offensive line this year, obviously. I like Tatum. He looks like a player. Everybody else is wishy-washy there. I don't really like a lot of those. Uh, I like Gates. I don't know about Pagel. He could be anywhere. Like His ranges are way wide. I don't like... Kane because of that D run block. I'm not big on that. Let's see. Right guard. <sighs> These traits just don't jump at me as anything good. Uh, we'd have to take a flyer on combine warriors there. This Jacobs guy is going to be very good. I know he's only around one to two talent. I actually uncovered Anderson here that I like a bit more. Um. What else do we have? Nothing much there at right tackle. Okay, left end. There's not a lot of them. There would have to be a diamond in the rough somewhere. I don't think there is at left end. At right end, they got this guy. I don't think the ends are that good this year. I think this would probably be the biggest diamond in the rough out of all of them. You know, he's got some stuff. He can tackle at the very least. That I like. Want a guy that can put... Put a hit on somebody, too. Uh, D tackles. I don't like C's in my D tackle stuff. I don't think these D tackles are too solid. I was definitely hoping to see more. Um, Not a big fan. All right, this guy's top five. He's got D zone coverage, which you don't really need zone coverage, especially if he's just going to be a speed rushing type of guy. Uh, these guys don't look bad. Pickett, Royster, they look okay. <sighs> Wilson would be a guy I would take a flyer on late, late. If we had a chance to. I don't love a lot of this. This guy's got great zone coverage. As a coverage guy, Harris is nice. But... 
I don't know. I like Barnett. I don't really like anybody else. Right outside linebacker. Ooh. See, this is a lot harder because I do like this. I know his block shit isn't great, but wow, he can play. I want Conley, to be honest. This guy's pretty good, too. Preston ain't bad, either. They could be smoke screens, but I like what I see there. As far as corners, it's tough. I've done just about everything I've found online. Yeah, it's fair. You, I mean, you've definitely been working all day on it, so... I don't blame you for being... You know, just outright frustrated and annoyed right now. I would be. I'm trying to look for the guy that's underrated down here. See, I don't want a guy that can't zone coverage whatsoever. Is there an underrated guy? Nah, I guess not. All right, so corners aren't that good. We'd have to take a flyer. Cummins was the guy that I went to look at, and he looks really good. Outside of that, ooh, it's tough. I mean, maybe Gaffney. Maybe he's a little secret. Way downtown there. B to D. That might be a shot. This, this guy's got a couple B to Ds. Irving, I don't know. We'd have to look at combines. I'm just kind of favoriting guys based off of their traits right now. Guys that we'd have to take a look at later. I don't love a lot of these safeties, though. He's got a hit power, a tackle. He's not going to cover a single guy, but that'd be a flyer, a late, late, late flyer. Okay. I think we've got him set up. Um, ah, it gives you favorites. Okay, cool, cool. All right, okay. We threw the favorites in. All right, favorites have been thrown in. I could reorder. It'd be tough. I wish they had an easier, like, sorting tab or something to reorder things the way you want to. That would be so much easier because then I would know exactly the guys that I'm trying to get or might want to get. Where was that one tackle, though? Who is the guy? Broyles. Broyles is the guy we really, really wanted to get. We'd have to move up to grab him. I got to see where these first-round talents are projected to go. Um, I got to check that mock draft again. Then we'll really be ready to jump in and see what we can get in this draft. It's going to be huge. Cummins. The Cummins and the Goins. All right. Is there any flat out round one guys? No, there isn't. Is there another potential UDFA? Yeah, bring him all the way down. Round two to three, bring him up. Three to four, bring him down. Three to four, bring him down. Three to four, bring him down. Another day three. There's another UDFA in a day three. We're kind of getting this in order. This gives me positions or guys to look at if they take everybody I wanted. <laughs> about the best we could do. All right, so there's two guys we really got to see where they're going to go. So right tackle Anderson is that round one talent. The other round one talent is tight end Hurst, and I know I think he's going early. Um, One to two, corner, Bass, though he's not that important to me. Left guard Tatum, left tackle Broyles. Free safety Cummins. Cummins. I'm Cummins. Uh, corner McCauley. Culkin. And then left tackle Hannon. There we go. Those are guys that I'm looking at. One to two rounds and first round. Love the content. Keep up the great work and keep your head up. You got this. Hey, T. Clank, I love you, buddy. Thank you for eight months being a member here. You're a fucking legend, dude. T. Clank's a legend, bro. All right, mock draft. Where are they telling me these guys are going to go? So Anderson, they have at 11. We'd have to really move up to grab him, and I like him a lot. I really like him. 
Um, <sighs> tight end Hurst, they have at 20. Left guard Tatum, they have at 23. They got Broyles at 24. We're not going to have four first-round picks, so we're not going to get them all, obviously. McCauley's at 26. Uh, Cummins is at 32. So corner Bass and left tackle Hannon are not in the first-round mock. So we could have a shot at that. So the question is, do we stay happy with a guy like Broyles? You're here to chat. Good to see it. I love to see it. Let's check out Hurst's combine. Oh. Oh, he's so good. This could be Ingram's replacement next season. Legitimately could be. Um... This guy's combine. Ooh. Yeah, he's strong. He said, is that Kelsey? Could be our Kelsey. It could be our Kelsey, RSV. He is strong. And he's projected to go 11. I think we got to see how the first, like, eight or so picks go. And if he's sitting there in here, we might have to see if we can make a move. I like him, and I like Hurst. Now, this is the other thing, RSV. We were looking at Broyles. He was projected to go lower than us in the last mock, but now with this mock, he's projected to go higher. And he had a worse pro day than a combine, I would say. For sure. The fifth mock holds true? All right, Lou. Hey, Lou, is there any pimping going on tonight? I kind of miss you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, so 33, he's got good reps. He's just not a pass blocker. He is an agile guy. I'd like to get that strong dude in there. I'd like to get him too, but we're not going to be able to get everything. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get Cummins either if he's going to go bottom half. He looks really good too. There's some solid players in this. Remember, guys, those who are here will get a player right away. You guys will get a player somewhere if you're here at the end. I know it's a grind to be here. I I, I appreciate you all for being here. All right, I think it is time to start the draft and just see where the chips fall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, RSV. I really want Anderson. You know what they say, if you can get your guy, you get your guy. And I think he's our guy. But the Jets have the number one pick. And they will take quarterback Bo Reynolds. That's a cool name. It's a cool name. There you go. Bo Reynolds to the Jets. That'll bring Manny Kinney to Minnesota. Manny Kinney goes to Minnie. That sounds like a fucking movie. I ain't going to lie. Wouldn't miss it, bud. Hey, appreciate you. Here we go. Lions get Jerry Jacobs. That's pretty expected. Saints will take Greg Taylor, left outside linebacker. We had no shot at any of these guys. Bears with a top five pick after a killer free agency period. They get tight end Malik Kellum. He was a top five talent. They get him. All right. 
Washington goes Richard Williams. So everything is holding true. Let's see what the Titans do. They're going to take the running back, Raphael Hendricks, like they need him. <laughs> I like that running back, but. All right. I don't know that I want to move up to eight. I would definitely be willing to move up to 10. I might be willing to move up to nine. Not that I really want to help Dallas out, but I'd like a quarterback if possible. Damn, tight end at five must be Kyle Pitts. He must be the way we've seen some other guys in this draft class from tight end. All right, they take wide out. All right, what will Dallas do for us? We want nine. We have, like, I'll go 31 and try to move it up. I don't want to move it up with any of that. I'd go third round. What if I go next year three? What does that do? All right, so that takes us there. How about this year three? Where's that going to roll us to? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Wow. Wow. I don't know if we got the firepower, folks. We do if I want to give up a second, but I don't know. We could really come away with a lot of guys in this draft. But is he our guy? Maybe. What would they do if I did this? That's close. Not sure it's worth it, honestly. You think we should... Hang tough and move up for the other tackle? Because we're going to have to move up regardless. Broyles projected to go at 24. It would take both first, potentially. Ooh, that would not be cool with me. Not if we want to get Hurst. Or a guard. The guard. Because... Let me look at this board. Where's my favorites at? There they are. So Anderson's looking really hot, right? But what else do we have? Oh, shit. Stop. I wanted to reorder it, but you're not letting me. Hurst is there. Broyles. We know he's around one talent. But he's 24. This guy's around 1-2 talent, and he's not projected to go first round. So we'd have a chance at bringing him in. Slim chance. These other tight end, There's other tight ends that we could potentially get. But, man, if we could bring in a, a linebacker like this, you know, an end, a tight end. A center like this. We could really stack talent. I don't know. Add the next three to that. Trade your entire draft for two years. Um, no, I'm good. My name is not Mike Dicka, Reyes. I don't think I want to do that. Um... Uh, so what are you saying? You're saying this. Add the next three to this. You're saying like that. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way oh, way oh. I potentially I don't know if that's what it maybe it'll be just a next four. Let's try that. Alright, maybe it will be a next three. Well, 
That's probably the deal. Should we do it? We keep 29. We have the potential to then get to 23 for the guard, get to 20 for the tight end, move down and pick up picks for the free safety. Either way. Got to head back to work. Hope the rest of the stream is good, but I'll have you up on my phone. I love you, Clink. Thank you, man. Hopefully the rest of your day, work day is good. You think that's worth it? Worth it. Oh! Literally a smidgen. Literally a smidgen. Now, I could keep 35 and give them 33. Let's take a current third. See, I don't know if I want to lose a pick from this year. That's my only hang up with that. They want 29. Fuck them. I think giving them 33 over 35 isn't a, a bad thing. It's my last. Oh, man. Yeah, they want 29. All right, fuck them. We'll go another pick. Maybe we make a deal with the Colts. I don't want to make a deal with the Colts, but... All right, they want that D-tackle really badly. Um, see if the Colts want to make a move. It's the best we can do. Maybe they want to give it up a little bit more. You know, maybe they want to move down more than... Anything else. Maybe they, they're into that. Let's see what this looks like. See, that's pretty close. Let's see what this looks like. All right, it's declined, but it's close. All right. They might do it with the next three. Uh, I could try for 11 with Houston, but then that's my last opportunity. Now, the other thing I could do... We'll just do it. I could have tried to give him, like, Greg Little or something, but I could always try to do that to somebody else. We'll do that. We'll make our pick. We're going to get our guy. Let's see what he is. I'm excited. We're going to get our guy now. Where'd he go? He was a right tackle. Yeah. Terry Anderson. We're going to get our guy. Woo! 92 strength hidden development player. A aware, A impact block, A pass block power, A run block power, B run block, B pass block, A lead block. That is a fucking lineman. That's a fucking lineman right there. All right. Check on the right tackle. Now, we might need to make moves. Let me just see what we can pick up. Because Little's in the last year of his deal. And we're probably not going to want him anymore. Let's just see who wants him and what they're willing to give. The Bengals are willing to take him. How about a second? No? Come on. Draft day trade. Make the move. I don't really want to do it for that. I'm going to be honest with you, Bengals. What else? Because I feel like somebody's going to give a third for him. I feel like that's where we're heading. Where's the green people? Green people. There we go. Panthers want him. There you go. Perfect. And he's not in the division anymore. I mean, in the conference. Ooh, a second and oh so close. How about a six next year? 
There we go. We got a second. Second for little. There we go. So we'll be in good shape now. So we got a second back. He's also a Gamecock, so of course he's a beast. Is he? Oh, he is. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes now. So they're going to take Tavares Jones instead. Trayvon Reynolds goes there. Colton Barkley goes earlier than he was supposed to. We butterfly effect this. So because of that, I don't know where Hurst is going to end up going, but we'll have a chance to get another solid lineman. Because we could not sign one, so getting two would be a big thing for us. Let's see what the Steelers do. They take the corner. The Bills will take Pickett. And the Texans now, with another, will take a middle linebacker. This is working out well. Unfortunately, we pick at 29, and we know that 20 is where Hurst is supposed to go. If he goes before 20, we're probably not going to be able to get him. Right tackle Watkins goes there. That wasn't a guy we were looking at. Terrence Walker to the Pats. That's fine. This is where Colton, the quarterback, was supposed to go. So if Hurst goes here, we're screwed. No, they take a different tight end. Hmm. Hurst was supposed to go right here. Now, what picks do we have? So we have 29, 33, and 60 now. We got 60 now. Still got 89 and 95 and 118 and 191. So basically, we moved down in the second and moved up in the first using little. Not bad. Is there anything we could help the Rams with? The Rams need middle linebacker. We could give them foyer. I just don't know... I love Foyer, but we do save money, and we have Muma and Lloyd, but I don't know if I want to do that. 29 and the two we just got, or is that too much? Let's see. 29 and this two we just got. To go to 20, that's probably too much. In this game, that might be too much. To go to 20, it shouldn't actually be that difficult. Let me see what next year's five does. That's pretty close. So if I was to give a four. Mm, it's close. It's probably a three. Maybe the three we just got. No, maybe the three we had already. Maybe they'll throw in like a four and a five. I don't know. We're going to try it because I'm greedy. Nah. How about just give me the five? Nah, they don't want to do that either. How about just give me the pick? Wow. I don't know if that's going to be worth. I don't know. They need, what do they need? Left guard? Dick, not giving them that. They need tight end. Any chance you want Albert O? They want Albert O. We signed Alberto for no money. I wouldn't feel comfortable taking it for that if they were to be excited about it. So how about Alberto and um, and the third? Alberto and a third. Oh, uh, they can't afford Alberto. They can't afford nine hundred thousand dollars. Oh, this team's fucked. I can't trade them anything. Yeah, I mean, Foye is probably my last money-saving guy. 
I have kept Foyer and Scherf, but then, you know, we'd have to get a lineman. <laughs> I've made a lot of very shrewd and rude moves. We got a Quan. I forgot we got a Quan Wu. So tackle's not going to be, like, the biggest thing. Boye would be the last one, but they're not going to be able to take his contract. We're going to have to let the Rams do what they want to do. Unless I want to trade like a two to move nine spots, which I don't particularly want to do. And they'll take Hurst. That's fine. We miss on Hurst. All right, we have to decide the next target then. You got to miss on some people. You can't get everybody. So we miss on Hurst. So is the next target Broyles? Or is the next target... a guard to replace Scherf? Because the only guy that I have to be that guy is Tatum, and he looks really good. Physicals, he's super strong. 36 reps in that pro day. Look at that. Nothing bad here. Except maybe a D in pass block finesse, possibly. And his injury is not great, but apparently no rookies are. So... Tatum could be a guy. I'd see if Tatum drops. Tatum's supposed to go 23. Broyles, 24. Just to get a lineman in that guard spot, I mean, he's got solid strength, not the greatest strength. He'd be really nice for a guard spot. He'd be really nice for a guard spot, to be honest. All A's and B's and C's, except for that pass block power. He's not a power guy. It'd be between these two guys that could replace Scherf and save money. Also, Hannon. I forgot about Hannon. We fully scouted Hannon. Hannon's not a bad player. He's got 33 reps. He's got solid strength himself. Some decent ad agility numbers. Not much stamina. Not much run block power, but he's got all A's and B's on a top level. And B run block A finesse. I'd sim 23, and if Tatum goes, trade up for Broyles. Tannen ain't bad. We got two more tight ends we can look at later in the draft. Like second round. They should be available. To take a peek at. I don't know if I like this corner. I don't know. I never actually looked at him here. 4-4-5, four, 4-4, four, 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 whatever. Nah, see, I'm not a big fan of that. Can we unfavorite him? No, apparently I can't. All right. We just won't go for him. All right, let's see what the Eagles take. They're taking Royster. The Royster Oyster. The Giants are going to take a right outside linebacker. All right, this is where Tatum's supposed to go. You want to sim 23. All right, RSV said sim it. Thoughts on Denver Nuggets this season if they stay healthy? I think the Nuggets are really good. I don't know if they're a championship contender, though. I think they're really good. I think they're a definite playoff team. I think they're a definite threat to make a run in the playoffs. I just don't know that they'll actually hold a trophy. That's the problem. I think they got a really nice starting five, and Jokic's great, but they just, they just don't strike me as that team. All right, so this is where we'd have to trade up for Broyles. Now that Tatum does go, so 29 to the Chadges for 24, how much are they going to want for that? I'm just testing the waters. Ooh, that really wasn't all that much. 
Can we roll like a four next year? Ooh, that was close. A four and a six this year. I'll do it. Declined. You're off your fucking ass. All right. I went for a four next year. Let me go for a five next year with a four this year. Actually, let's not give them a five at all. They declined that. Mm -hmm. Five next year. You give me the six next year. There you go. That's what it should do. What do you mean you won't do that? They're being picky. I don't think it's a lot to ask for, though, and it gives us broils. I'm going to go ahead and make that move. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to end up with Demarcus Broyles on the squad now. Let's see what he is. He's hidden. Maybe not the greatest strength, but really nice to move inside, I think. Really nice to move inside. And don't forget, we still have 33 to pick. So we'll see what's still left after this round. All right, two good linemen on the squad. I like it. We're building the O-line way up. All right, Brandon Roberts is going to go. We didn't have him on our boards. McCauley, we miss out on him. He was supposed to go at 26, and he did. The Dolphins will take Thorn. The Panthers will take Barker. Gregory Cox with the trade down to the Chargers. Will Cook. The Colts will take Gerald Bass. That was a guy that we were looking at, but I really wasn't that interested. Uh, and this is where that safety is supposed to go. Cummins. And he will. So we will not get Cummins. But we are on the clock in the second round now. And after having picked a couple of tackles... There's options to trade the pick. I'm going to take a peek. Yeah, two hidden O-line, you can't complain. Uh, so we're in 2024 now. So the Bills would give us a 2-4 and next year's 6. They'd give us a 2-4-6 this year. They'll give us a 2-3-6. Um... They'll give us a one for next year, which I don't really want to do right now. Two, four, six for next year. I liked the two, three, six. The two, three, six here from the Bucks could help us get some more players. Best tight end available. I mean, we still have Evan Ingram signed for two years. We don't need to go like gung ho on a tight end. I just happen to really fall in love with Hurst and. If we could have gotten him, I would have. And there's a couple of tight ends on this list here that we could roll with. And if we could grab an extra pick, we could get even more players. Hannon looks like a decent player, but do we need another O-lineman? I don't know. We could. We honestly could get another O-lineman. We could trade Jawan Taylor that we would not... Resign him anyway. So this is what we're twerking with at the moment. Our Y receivers are full. Um, we got a Quan Wu, Westbrook, Santos, Scherf for now. We could trade Scherf. Um, we could trade Jawan Taylor. We're probably not going to give him a second contract. He's going to ask for big money. He's only a normal dev. We just brought in two tackles, and we only really have one starting spot. And it is right where Taylor sits. And we could move the other one into guard, where Scherf is. We could trade both of them, theoretically, and select Hannon and have another rookie guy. see here if we traded him what do we get for it for one i'll look at their 
things, which I'm probably not going to like. I don't like them. I don't like them. I think they're shit. All right, anybody want Taylor? Uh, the Broncos do. They don't have money. The Bucks do. They don't have money. Nobody has money. They don't know how to cut and save cap room. They don't know how to do what I do. Oh, wow. All these teams want him and don't have money for him. The Chargers do not want him whatsoever. The Cowboys do not have money. The Falcons would be the team I'd want to give them to, or the Giants or the Jets, because they have plenty of money, but they actually don't really want him. Or the Seahawks. Where's the Seahawks? You want to give me like a, I don't know, a fucking third, bro. I'll, I'll take him. I'll take a third for him. There we go. We got a third for Jawan Taylor. I'm in. I'll take a third for Jawan Taylor. Now, what do we get for Scherf? Obviously, he's a superstar. He's getting up there. And we can get Mike Williams. Holy shit. We get John Franklin Myers back. <laughs> we can get Radio's middle linebacker. Oh, Radio. We can get your middle linebacker. Then we would trade Foyasad, though. <laughs> Uh, shit, this game. Nobody's going to afford this guy, are they? Uh, the Chargers could if I wanted to give it to the Chargers. The Chiefs could if I wanted to do that. The Colts could. The Falcons can. What do they have for picks? They have a bottom two and a bottom three, probably. Uh, that's because they were so good. Let's see. Let's keep looking. The Jets have a need. They only have a third round pick. They don't have a second. The Pats, who I don't really want to. Whiskey Yo QB. Who's your QB? Trevor Lawrence. That's an easy answer. All right, two, three, four. Hey, we got a two, three, four for Brandon Scherf. I'm in. All right, you don't have to ask the same question eight times. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we traded Scherf. We got a lot of picks here now. So because of that, where's our trade center? I just want to see Cleveland Browns. Hey, we got to do what we got to do, man. I got to be a shrewd negotiator. All right, so we have three seconds, and we can get another one. I don't know where Hannon's going to go. How far down is Hannon on this list? I do want to make this trade, but I also don't want to lose Hannon. Elmers, I will ban you. Um, Let's see. Where is he? Hannon, he's down there, 11th on this list. Son of a bitch. Do we take the trade, RSV? Only in the next draft, Legends. That's all they allowed you to do. They allow you to do this year's picks and next year's picks. That's all they can do in Madden. It's kind of bummy, but it is what it is. Do it, I'm right here, kill me. I don't want to kill you. I just want to ban you. Put user in timeout. There we go. All right. <laughs> he asked for it. I think so. All right. He said he thinks we should do it. Should we go less, though, and be safe? Should we go Browns? Because this would bring us... 15 picks from now. This would bring us 14 picks from now. This is going to bring us a whole 25 picks from now. I'm a Dolphins fan, Roblox. I don't know where to go. If we do this... We may not get Hannon. 
Not that we need him. We'd have our five linemen, but Browns is the best of both worlds. All right, let's go Browns. All right, we took Browns. Why are we on the clock? Is that glitchy? That's a glitch? Yeah, that's a glitch. Okay. Browns are on the clock, dummies. It didn't switch. All right, the Browns will take right tackle Hopkins. That's fine. There's quarterback Ralph Stort goes there. They take Dre Stevenson. Where's our pick? 16th? There's Morgan Money. That's a great name. It's a fantastic name. All right, we are still seven guys away from the from Hannon going. If they f they're not going to follow that. There's Samuels. Okay. <sighs> Let me see if we can move back up with Washington. If it doesn't cost a lot. Is there anything we can give Washington that maybe they want? I don't know. Commanders. They want right tackle, tight end, left tackle. I could give them Albert O. Planning on taking a tackle late, uh, tight end later. They don't really want Albert O, but like to move to 38 from like a third. Oh, they don't have money to take Albert O. Well, that sucks. All right, how about my last third, which I put in the trade, and um, and my second four. How about a three and a four for it? Nope, they don't want to do that. All right, hold on. How about 60 and a fourth? <sighs> that was so close that I'll give you a next year's seventh. All right, we'll make that move up. Oh, what? Bro, sometimes when they decline things, I'm just like, where did you come from with that? This would be me basically giving everything that the Browns were giving to go back up there. I don't like that idea. No, not going to do that. They can't afford Albert O, but wait a minute. Is there another tight end on our team that they can't afford that they would want? Like Luke Farrell? I mean, you're not going to want him, but you're going to take him along with pick 60. There you go, and you're going to make the deal. No? Okay. Along with uh, a six. Yeah. All right. Commanders are going to do what they want. That's fine. McDonald. They can have McDonald. I don't care about McDonald. As long as the Titans don't take my man. All right, they didn't. All right. We're doing something here. Cardinals, what do you got? I was going to trade with the divisional rival. I don't have anything that they're going to want. So let's just see. If I could give them 60 and, I don't know, a 6. I ain't trying to move up far. How many Notre Dame alone? I have no idea. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't keep track of stuff that well like that. Ooh, almost with a six. All right, a six and a seven and 50 for 40. I'm, I'm willing to do that. Yeah, I'm willing. Rogers really into Notre Dame Catholics, I guess. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right, there we go. Now we will go ahead and we will take Hannon before anyone else can. The round one to two talent level player who is a hidden development. There we go. We get Hannon on the squad as well. So we basically got the three linemen that we were looking to grab. I'm into it. I like it. So now we can kind of start moving ahead a little bit quicker. We have the 16th pick here. Let's just move ahead, see what's there. There are some trades available. Let me just check those real quick before we do anything else. We got Hannon. We got three hidden dev linemen. 
That's really big for us. We can get a two again, a four and a six again. A two, a four, and a six in this draft from the Falcons. That might be worth it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to take more picks. And we can roll into picks into next year. There we go. User pick. All right. They want us to trade again, but I don't really want to. I want to see if any of our guys are actually there from our favorites list. Yeah, so we have two tight ends and this safety and a running back. Let me check these out. So running back wise, I don't know. We don't really know a ton about him, but he's fast, really fast. He's athletic. And he can carry. He has vision. That much we know. He might be able to catch. He doesn't stiff arm a truck. He's super elusive. He's an elusive back through and through. Needs to work on simple concentration drafts. Fights for every single inch as a runner. Avoids big hits following catches. Excels at creating yards after the catch. I mean, he could be a decent little player. Let's see, this tight end right here, Chris Maddox. Woo, number two in speed at tight end. Number one in the shuttle. Ooh, and he's pretty strong. He's got a carry, a catch in traffic, a pass block. A pass block. Ugh. Uh, playing Jags mobile franchise. I'm winning against Denver 8 nothing at the end of the first. Jags should win 23-14. Hey, there you go. Get that win. All right, Jared Knox. He's pretty good himself. Very athletic, super high jump. Really nice jumping. He's got A, catching traffic, B, medium route, C, run block, B, catching, and his pass block's high. A awareness, I don't know. Both these tight ends might be good, RSV. I don't know which one to go with. We got to pick one of them. Probably going to pick one of them. And this safety. All right, he's not the quickest. From his combine, maybe we don't want him. I like his hip power and his tackle, and his man's not bad and all that stuff, but maybe not. Yo, what's going on, V-Dub? Thank you for being a member for six months, my friend. I appreciate you, sir. All right, so a couple of tight ends that I can't decide between, to be honest with you. Oof. No idea. I guess when in doubt, you might want the 6'6 guy, right? We got plenty of guys here later to choose from. What does awareness even mean in regards to a player performing on the field? Um... If you're controlling him, absolutely nothing. But when you're not controlling him, it means a lot in the game. Because they will play like crap. They'll be in out of position or whatever. It's basically just them playing in the right spots, in the right position, knowing their assignments, that kind of stuff. Which maybe isn't like the most important thing for like an offensive guy, but you want them to run the right routes and all that stuff. Higher the awareness, better chance you got. Lunch break. What's for lunch, Vita? What are we having for lunch? I don't know who to take. I don't know who to take there. What trades do we have? I might make another trade. We have another pick coming up. They want to go 3-5. They want to give us another 2. And that would give us a six. They want to give us a two next year and a six this year. They want to give us a two and a fifth. It's a fifth to move up. Oh, that's next year. Okay, never mind. So The only two I could get here is Seattle, and that's only to get a sixth. I'd rather pick a guy. I just don't know who. Tight end. Let's see. 
We'll go by the combine. So he's, let me see, 4'7", 10, 18, 1'1", 3'3", 15'14", 2'3". All right, let me go check the other dude. So he's 2'2". Two, two. He's seven six. He's ten eleven. He's sixteen five. So this guy's winning in jumps. That doesn't matter. Eight eleven, and then one one. Yeah, I like this guy better. How long until I start playing a game? I'm not gonna play a game on stream live. This is just an off season stream, as the title would suggest. All right, Chris Maddox. All right, he's a normal. Yeah, I like both, too. Blue bus. <laughs> I like both, too. I just went with one. The other guy might be a hidden dev. I don't know. I went with the guy with the better combine, and I think that the speed and acceleration numbers are more important than a jump and broad jump. That's kind of what my tiebreaker was. All right, we're on the clock again. I could take both of them. Theoretically, I could just take both if I want. What are our other picks? Ah, huh, doesn't say. Thanks. Thanks for the help, Madden. Appreciate you. I could take both. I could double down. What picks do we have? Since Madden don't want to tell me. Yeah, I, I put all I post all the games and videos on the channel. Live. All the games get posted. So we're at 61 right now. So we would also have one, two, three, four third round picks and three fourth round picks. God, we are going ham in this draft. I'm going to get flamed in the comments. That's okay. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, Four third round picks. So we'd be able to go under the, like in this area. And then fourth round picks. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take him. I'm going to take the other one. All right, he's normal also. So we're going to have two tight ends that can play. You could tell that they can play. They're just not hidden dev guys. So I don't care. We'll take him. We solved our tight end problem. Evan Ingram can go next year. I'm fine. We'll be all right. All right, skip ahead. Next user pick. I want to see who's available before I go looking at trades. If I don't like what's here, maybe then. All right, so we've got the middle linebacker here. The A zone coverage middle linebacker. I don't have any other middle linebackers on the list. Nope. I think we're going to go there. We're either going to go there or the right end. Let me just double check this combine. I've not looked at anybody's combines. That's a slow right end. He's got some agility and acceleration type things going on, but I don't know. I think I'd rather go with this middle linebacker. Let's double check him. Physicals. Yeah, he's fast. Yeah, he's nice. I like him. I like him. We're taking Tremon Harris and a hidden dev. And that's why we're taking Tremon Harris. So I liked him. I liked him a lot. Yep, he was definitely a guy I was looking at. I don't know if we trade Foyasad in the preseason or whatnot, but that is a player. I got to see just how good he is. All right, we're going to make another selection here in the third round. These are the cheap players that are going to make our team what it is. All right, so the last guy who's worth a third round selection is Courtney Rhodes. That'll probably be my later selection. What's our next pick? 25. Let's trade this away, see what people are willing to offer us. Um, You're willing to offer a 4 and a 4. I might go with that. A 4, 4, and a 7 this year? What are you willing to offer? A 3, 6, and a 7 next year? That could be big. I'm going to take the 4, 4, and the 7, I think. Yeah. Speedy backer. What's up, Ice? How we doing, my man? All right, we made that trade right there. 
Um, we are not on the clock. We are not on the clock. We are now at pick 25. We also have third round pick 31. Let's see if my guy's still there. Courtney Rhodes is there. Um, I think we'll take him now. Yeah, we'll just take him. We're going to take this lucky dip flyer on this guy. A hidden! We are having a legendary draft. Yes, we traded Kirk, Mike. We had to. You'll see why when I show the end of this stream. When I show the roster. Oh, my God, you're going to love it. Oh, when we get to the end of this draft. I had no idea Hidden was coming out of that. I thought he was okay. But that's big for us. All right, next user pick. We can trade this one. Try to pick up next year's capital. Um, I'm really looking for next year picks. They're trying to give me a four next year. I'm not really looking at that. You ain't got to give me a third. All right, the only team willing to give me a third for next year is the Colts. So we're going to bank on them sucking since they're in our division. Um... We'll let them do what they got to do with that pick. All right. That's going to bring us to 12 of the fourth. What is left on our list? So there's a nice tackle that I know will be a solid guy. I'm probably going to take him. I'm just going to roll with him. I don't want anybody to try to lucky dip to him or anything. I don't want anybody to get any ideas. He's super strong. He's not agile at all he's a power guy through and through but he's gonna make for a solid backup i know he's normal dev how the hell is that's not super strong what is this game 84 strength he's a normal guy he might be a little busty but he's got good skills he'll be a solid backup he'll probably be like a 68 70 something like that that's fine we'll take him it's not bad for the fourth round regardless all right we still have a lot of picks in this round um Bates is the last guy that I want. He's a day three selection. We also have 18 in the fourth, so let's see if we can get more. Too much going to fit in the thumbnail. <laughs> you would hope. You would hope if it'll fit. You'd want it to fit in the thumbnail, but who knows. At this point, we get a fourth and a seventh. I don't really want that. I want all next year's picks. A four and a six from Atlanta. They played well this year. Will they do it again? I don't know. We're going to bank on them not doing it again. They've left too much cap space. We'll take your fourth and your sixth. I'm excited to see. Oh, my God. We made so many moves, Mike. It has taken way longer than I wanted it to. This has already been almost three hours of just an offseason, and it's because we were able to get so much good stuff done. I think I want to trade this one. Or I might trade 29. It depends on what the offers are here. Next year, if anybody's willing to give me anything good, they're not. They're not willing to give me anything great. So we'll just go ahead and take our running back. Our fourth round running back. Deontay Bates, who's got a bunch of A's, I see. That's all I see. He's a normal dev guy. We didn't get dev out of him, but look at all that green. That's what I like. All right, when there's nothing bad about him, he's got A stiff arm, A trucking, A break tackle, A ball carry vision. It's a fucking player right there. I want to see him running. I want to see him rocking and rolling on the squad. What else do we got? We got 429. We're going to trade this away because the rest of the guys are all projected UDFAs that we would be picking up to try to keep them away from being free agents. I'm trying to see. They want to give me this year stuff. Raiders want to give me a four next year. Ravens want to give me a four next year. Let's go Raiders. They're in a tough division. Let's bank on the Raiders not getting it done. See, now we're recruiting next year's picks after making all those wild trades that we have made. But we just so happen to have so many guys that were expiring contracts. And we had to make it where, you know, the money was going to work for us. All right, so we have two guys, a linebacker and a safety left. I'm going to take the linebacker because he's got a tackle and a pursuit. We're going to keep him from being a free agent. 77 strength, 82 speed, not bad. 
He's got a pursuit. He's got a tackle. He's got C zone coverage. He's not bad. We'll see what he looks like. And then we've got round six, pick 29, where we will make our selection. And we will take the last of the Mohicans here. Gabe Boykin, a strong safety. Hit power A, tackle A, and he's a hidden death. He's a Gamecock, RSV. He's a Gamecock. I don't know if RSV is still there, but A tackle, A block shed, A hit power. So, hell of a run supporter. We got players. We definitely got players. Now we got to pick 12 in the seventh round, and I don't have anybody I want. So, we will just take whatever we can get for next year. Packers will give us a sixth. We'll go ahead and make that deal. Uh, and we'll move ahead. No remaining picks. Boom. Done. All right. The draft is done. Draft recap. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. If you missed it, look at all these players. 75, 74, 72, 73, 70. 71, 66, he's hidden dev though, 68, 74 running back, 68, and a 68 hidden dev. Oof. And I actually took the right tight end first. He's a 73. I took the right tight end first. Isn't that funny? I took him in order. I was correct. 75, 74, 72. I went in order. Got the tight ends in order. Got this 71 hidden dev middle linebacker. Sixty six, sixty eight. We got this 74 running back. A power back. Doesn't really fit us, but... I want to use him as a power back. I want him to get some carries as a power back. We got this 68 left outside linebacker, run stopping guy. Maybe he can play the end at run stopper. And then a 68 strong safety for run support. He fits our scheme and everything from the Gamecocks. Now, I know Clink wanted a quarterback. Link's a channel member. I'm not going to give him Bo Reynolds. I'm just not. That's too good of a name. Colton Barkley's a good name. Is there a quarterback that went behind under the radar? You know what? We're going to give him this Viking guy, and we're going to make him better. That's all. That's what we're going to do for Clink. I don't want to take those two guys away from the game. So we are going to name this dude Timmy Clink. Because that's a name he would give me. All right. If he wants to change it later, he can. But I'm going to give him this guy. And then you guys, what I want to do is you guys give me a position and a name. And I'm going to try to get you in here. And this guy's from Ohio State. That is perfect for Clank, bro. That is legitimately perfect for him. I am going to go ahead and make him a superstar dev guy, though. Because he is a channel member. And I'm going to go ahead and up all of his stats. I'm going to make him a player. He's going to be a hell of a player. It's only because he's a channel member. We're going to make him be able to throw. Yeah, like a human. All right. There we go. He's going to play really, really well for the Vikings. I think the Vikings got rid of Kirk Cousins finally, so that'll be their new guy. All right, let's see. RSV wants a wide receiver. As long as they don't have a good name, I will pretty much give you guys like mid or mid level guy. Like Terrence Walker's a shit name, but I don't want to put RSV on the Pats. He's already got to coach him in FGFL. I don't want to put him on the Pats. TJ Tor, we'll put him on the Broncos. There you go. You're getting this guy, and we'll move you to star. We'll be nice. RSV is getting a star dev wide receiver. First come, first serve. So make sure y'all are 
getting those names in there, wherever you guys want to be, we'll find a way to get there. Malcolm Proctor. That's a good name. It's a good name. I don't want to like make like all the first rounders play like people players, but we'll see what we got. Cornerback, Daryl Law. Ooh, I like that. Assad Overstreet's too damn cool though. We're not getting rid of that. Macaulay's a shit one. We'll we'll go ahead and give you him. He's already a, a dev, so. And he looks like he could be Darrell Law. Darrell Law, I like that. Nice little mix. Darrell, and since you're a mod, you get a little a little preference, just like RSV. Got decent players. I treat my people the right way. All right, there we go. Darrell Law is in. Wide receiver AJ Jefferson. All right, I got to look here because, I mean, Peyton's not exactly like a great name or anything. Terrence Walker. You know what? We'll give you Terrence Walker. Terrence Walker's a shit name. You got a better one. AJ Jefferson. We'll go with that. You're a Pat. A.J. Jefferson. You guys got to remember who you are and where you are, because I'm not going to be able to remember that. A.J. Jefferson. There we go. Out of Texas. Hook'em horns. Anybody else, make sure you get your names and your stuff in there. Um, Now would be the time. Now would definitely be the time. Name, position. We got plenty of good players up here. Wow. There wasn't a single 60 until this middle linebacker. Hm. And then there was a few. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All right. Waiting for y'all. I'm going to take a sip here. And if people did not... Power and elusive about equal, yeah. We got to change our offensive scheme. I think we're going to. Um, Because I don't really like the receiving back scheme. I think it's really dumb. So we're going to find a way to change that going forward. Aha! I knew Lou would get in there. All right, let's do it. Peace Piper, I like it. Uh, shit, let me... He said, I want a tight end. Well, Malik Kellum's a cool name. You can probably have... Ooh, I don't know if we want... I'll give you the 21-year-old. Only because he's bald. And he looks nothing like you. All right. Peace Piper. Nobody wants to be named Benedict anyway. Peace, Piper. Now, Lou deserves Dev. There we go. All right. Elusive backs are Tice. Spectre, you're entitled to a free guy somewhere. I know you're already on our team, but Tavares Jones is a pretty shitty name. So if you got a name, we'll throw it in there. Nope. One, one per draft, Kendall. Don't get greedy now. Don't get greedy now. All right. I know Spectre likes defensive ends, and he's got a player on our team from last year's draft, but he's here, and he is entitled. You can make, like, an evil brother or something on on the Texans. And then we would like to, you know, beat their ass. That'd be great. <laughs> our nice. I'm going to move forward, though. You decide if you want to or not. I know that we got that Texans guy. All right. Um, adjust roster? Is that what I want to do? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I would want to do schemes, but you can't do them yet. So why isn't there? Oh, here's the advance. All right, let's advance to the thing. Yeah, you're on our team already, Specta. From last year. I'm just saying, you're sitting here in the chat, so. And you're a channel member, so. If you wanted a player on some other team just to throw another guy out there, you could. Uh, this is what I want. I want to change our offensive scheme. Mm. I don't like this. 
We're at 57 on that. We're at 57 on the spread, and at least gives us elusive back. I like that better. I don't like scrambler, though. I don't want receiving back. West Coast zone runs cool. We could do that. West Coast power run gives me power, guys. Strong arm. Vertical zone run, strong arm, and elusive. You know what? I'd be okay with that. Let's see if we can make it work. Hold on. Give it to someone else. I'm good with the guy on your squad. All right. Got you, got you, got you, got you. We gave everybody else their thing. Everybody got their shot. Everybody gets in there. All right. Let me look at it in the in the salary screen. All right. You paying attention there, Michael? This is the one right here. All right. Quarterbacks or quarterbacks. All right. We got a new running back in town. DeAndre Swift for no money. For seven years. DeAndre Swift will run for us until we tell him he's not allowed to. We got Deontay Bates in the draft. Power and elusive, very, very close. We can make him so much better. We got Marquise Hollywood Brown for not a ton of money. We got Amon Ra for one more year. We got Alex O'Neal, three more years on his rookie deal. We have three more years on a rookie deal for an actual subscriber recruit in, or a subscriber player in David Bognasty. We got Bo Melton for another year. We got Isaiah Walker back on the squad for seven years, very little money. So our wide receiver room's fine. Evan Ingram still here for two years. We got Albert O for basically no money. We got Maddox and Knox. We got a Quan Wu. He's a power. Agile's what's supposed to be there. What's supposed to be at left guard? Agile. See, I, I had had all these guys fitting, and now everybody's supposed to be agile. That's the only thing. What about on this side? You're supposed to be agile as well in your power. And you are the furthest thing from agile. But Broyles is agile. And he is going to move to right guard. And he is going to start there. And then Hannon is also agile. And he's basically a backup. And then Reeves is a power guy. We'll leave him there. We'll go Hannon to right tackle. Okay, your power. I don't know why I'm doing this. I could just look. Power, power, power. Pass, protect, pass, protect. Pass, protect, agile, agile, power, agile, power. We need a backup in there. Shit. We need a backup at right guard. I don't know. I'm just going to move him. He doesn't belong there, but I'm going to move him there. Just to get people. Now we'd be looking for Agile Lyman. Now that I moved it. Walker's there. Specta's here. Gross Matos would be better served technically backing up on the left. But he'll be our backup for both sides anyway. There we go. He'd be better served over there where he scheme fits. 
And then we got the new guy, Courtney Rhodes, at Speed Rush. Bunch of run stoppers in there at D-Tackle. We got Raiden's guy. for He's cheap. Blacklock, we just signed for a bunch of years. Very cheap. To Faley's on his last year. We got Kayvon Thibodeau over Odafe Owe now. Nick Wilson's a run stopper. You need speed rusher out there. You know what? We're going to bring Courtney Rhodes to right outside linebacker where the speed rushers go. It'll get better that way. He's just going to be a backup. He's a 65. He didn't go down all that much. And then we bring Nick Wilson over to right end behind Specta. And I bet you Nick Wilson's going to get better. And he's going to be scheme fit. As a power rush. There you go. Well, he didn't get better. He got one worse, but he's going to be fine. He's in good shape. We got power rush, power rush. McAllister's a speed rush. He should go over to the other side. Get him in that scheme fit. Boom. Middles. We got a bunch of field generals and one pass coverage guy. I don't know where that's going to be better suited. Because these guys are speed rushes. And these guys are power rushers. So pass coverage is not something we normally roll with. Harris is going to take a little work. He's like my project now. We got all man-to-man -man except for Diggs as a zone. We got Trayvon Diggs now with Tyson Campbell and Isaiah Rogers. And we're paying just about the same for Diggs that we were paying for Darius Williams. And he's way better. So, and he'll be better longer. We got Daxton Hill now as our free safety. Nice little superstar. Burgess still there for one more year. And then we got Andre Sisco with now Jamar Johnson paying not much to him. And then Gabe Boykin is a scheme fit hidden development. So we got decisions to make for cuts going forward. This team's going to be nice. This team is stacked up. And I haven't even looked at UDFAs yet. Oh, and I forgot J.K. Dobbins is available here. Who we're probably just going to pick up. We're going to pick him up. Why not? He's not going to start, but we're picking him up. All right, let's see. Practice squad. Element. Why is Calvin Mentor here? Please, can somebody pick up Calvin Mentor? <laughs> I don't want to have to do it. All right, just checking to make sure these guys are not, like, hiddens. Because that'd be crazy. Fullbacks. Here's a Quan Armstead. Damn. If he was a hidden, ooh, a 95 speed guy, I might pick him up anyway. I'm picking him up anyway. He'll be on my practice squad either way. Trade away the guys you need to cut. I mean, yeah, we could do that. I usually do. I usually do stuff like that. All right, nobody fits us there. This guy, Emmett Purcell, fits the scheme. We're going to bring in scheme fits, and maybe they make the roster, maybe they don't. But I'm going to try to bring in scheme fits. Derek Black, scheme fit. Right guard, Tyler Wise is our only scheme fit there. We'll take him. Right tackle, ooh, Justin, Josh Peterson. All right, he's a little scheme fit. We'll bring him in. Left end, ooh, no scheme fit until Baxter. I don't want him. We got two guys here that fit. Avery Dupree, we'll take him. That's a good name. Uh, right end, we got none. Left outside linebacker, Kelvin Shepard. Never heard of a linebacker named Kelvin Shepard before. Middle linebacker. 
Demarius Van Buren. What a name, bro. Out of South Carolina State. We'll take him. He's probably not going to make the team, but we'll do it anyway. Here's a scheme fit rookie. Matthew Ross. He's a 58. I don't want him. Unless he was hidden dev, I don't want him. All right, we got a rookie here, Reggie Merle. Nope, no hidden dev. We're not getting any hidden dev rookies. We did draft a couple guys that were supposed to be UDFAs. One of them was a hidden dev. We'll take this guy, DeAndre Spence. He's got a chance. Free safety. Here's one. Randy Ali out of South Dakota State. We'll try. We'll try. Strong safety. Kendall Dobson. We'll try with him. It might all be a waste of time. We'll sign Calvin Mentor and probably put him on our practice squad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like seeing him out there, you know? He should be on a team. We already have to cut five players before we can even get into a preseason game. But that's okay. I think I will record the preseason games and put them in the episode is what I think I might do. Um, however, team salaries. If there's a couple of guys that I do want to get rid of right off rip, now would be the time. And I don't know, like, I don't want to get rid of Snoop right now. Chance Jackson, I'm going to keep him. Who would I get rid of right off rip? Uh, Luke Farrell. He's a guy I'm going to get rid of off rip. Not even going to keep him here. This guy was our rookie last year, Matt Meredith. I don't like him. And who's this Dane Young guy? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and release all them. They don't have dev or anything. I don't want them. Uh, what else? Guys that I can part with. To Faley's probably going to end up uh, being traded away. Let me just see if he's worth anything from anyone. They don't want to give me shit for him. I don't blame them. But, like, just give me, like, a seventh, bro. Like, throw a seventh round pick up there, and I would probably accept it. But, like, they're too dumb to even do that. Does anyone even have yellow? I think we have a sucker. It is the 49ers. Would you give me a fourth round pick for Tufeli? All right, there we go. We're going to take a fourth round pick for Tufeli. Because he wasn't going to make the team, I can tell you that. We have so many middle linebackers, dude. We could try to trade Foyasad before we get nothing for him. Now would be the time. We got cap space? Wow, we got cap space, too. Um, I'm cur I'm just curious what we would get for him. Let me just try. He's only a star dev. He had a chance to get the superstar, and he didn't. Kara Loftus we could get. Lincoln Tomlinson, Austin Corbett, Tavares Dudley. That's got to be like a rookie type of dude. Miko Hardman, Yuchenna Nwosu. Those aren't things that I particularly want. Foyasad's tough, man. I love him. I love his name. I don't want to trade him, but it's also really smart to trade him. We could send him back to Atlanta. Would Atlanta give me their first? That's really all I care about. No? Uh, how about a second? I'll give you Foyasad for a two and a five. All right, we'll do that. I think that's fair. It's a fair deal. Boy, has gone. We're playing the kids. We're playing the kids. Yeah, but some backups, like, it's not really worth finding out, you know? Some backups, who really cares? That's what I say. Some, yeah, some, no. We would actually save two million cutting Tyler Bass.
to keep Mentor. I won't. But we could. All right, who else we have? All right, we're good. According to this, we are in good shape. Death chart. The roster is ready. Trev will not play. Swift will not play. I want Bates and Hawkins to play. This is our preseason roster. What is it? Is Evan Ingram hurt or something? No, they just don't want him to play. That's weird. I don't really want Evan Ingram to play, but not for the reasons they don't want him to play. I want the rookies to play. There we go. Rookies. I don't want Hollywood playing. I want Debog, Bo, Walker, Hackett, this Telfer guy, and I guess Alex can be last. Uh, I'm the same guy who has six first-round picks in the upcoming draft in my franchise, so maybe not be great for what you're trying to do, Pam. <laughs> Hey, if I was just, like, doing the old I don't give a fuck motif, then sure. Oh, these are starting fullbacks. I don't really give a fuck. I'll let fucking Raiden play fullback for all I care. Yeah, Albert O can play fullback. I don't care. I really don't care about fullback. This is where I don't want these guys. I want Maddox and I want Knox. And I want, I guess, Albert L. I don't really want a Quan Wu playing, but I guess we'll put him in there to start. We'll put them in there. Oh, we don't have to play Westbrook. Wait, do we have to play a Quan Wu? Do we have another left tackle? We do. We don't have to play him. Equan Wu does not have to play. There we go. He will not. Left guard, Westbrook will not play. Center, Santos will not play. Right guard, Broyles needs the experience. Right tackle, Anderson and Hannon both need experience. Left end, Walker will not play. Right end, Specta needs the experience. D tackle, well, all these guys need experience. Kayvon Thibodeau will not play. Uh, Muma, Lloyd, and Harris all need experience. Josh Allen will not play. Trayvon Diggs is definitely not playing. I really don't want to play Campbell either, but we'll see. If we have to, we have to. I'd rather play Spence. I'd rather play Wilkinson, and then we can play Campbell because he's on the one-year contract anyway. Daxton Hill will not play. I actually have enough free safeties on this team that I don't even need to play Burgess. Those guys can all play. I don't think we have – how many safeties, strong safeties do we have? Not enough. There we go. Jamar Johnson, can actually, he can play. Let him play. Mentor can play. Cook is playing. Kick return, Alex O'Neal. Kind of want to throw Debog in there, too. I'll let Debog. I'll let Debog return him in the preseason. I think that makes sense. Kickoff specialist, long snap, we're good. Uh, Swift for third down back. Power back. Bates, not Dobbins. Uh, shit, we don't want this. I got to make sure that these guys aren't playing. Hawkins, Connor. Bates, Hawkins, Connor. Bates, Connor, Hawkins. There we go. Get them all out of here. And then for receiver, Debog. Uh, Walker, 
And bow. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta do all this, too. Gross. Bush. And anyone else. Woodbury. There we go. We'll do that. Right side. McAllister. Wilson. And Rhodes. Yeah. We'll, we'll let Rhodes play it. D-tackle. Richards can get his experience. Specta can get his experience. And then we'll go Blacklock. Sub linebacker Muma needs to. Lloyd needs to. And Harris needs to. Corners. Junior. Boykin, I want. And Spence. Okay. We're going to find out who makes the team and who does not. We will find out. Let me just go over this roster one final time for the video that will be popping out. Trevor Lawrence, the superstar dev. Halfback room is full. People are not going to make it. Wide receiver room is stacked. People are not going to make it. Tight end room is stacked. Alberto might get cut or traded or whatever uh, for some simple pick. Line is stacked up. D-line ready to go. Specta, you are getting your chance, my friend. You are getting your chance. Middle linebacker stacked with talent. Josh Allen and Trayvon Diggs will anchor this defense. Daxton Hill's there now as a superstar. Can't wait to see what happens there. Obviously, we got a superstar kicker, Tyler Bass. We got two second-round picks in the upcoming draft class. We have five fourth-round picks. We have three sixth-round picks. I mean, that's what happens when I just go for it, you know? When I just go for GMing, that's that's what happens. We GM this bitch. All right, we are going to create a save point. Uh, go here, Jags auto save, boom. We are ready to go. Uh, if anybody happens to be watching this stream after it's already been like uploaded as a video, if any of y'all are going back and watching the VOD of this, make sure that you guys just sign the best rookie fullback. You only need one. You know what? I could do that. Let's do that real quick. Uh, but if any of you guys are watching this as a VOD and you would like to uh, make a player for this, make sure that you go ahead and put that in the comments of this VOD. I think I had, all right, this is the best rookie fullback out of Virginia. We're going to take him. I think I had somebody actually request a player in the comments section of today's video, which is something that I did ask people to do if they weren't going to make it. And I think only one person did it, and it was a channel member. So we're going to make sure that he gets his guy. His name that he wants is Chad Powers. He did not pick a specific position. Oh, I have to cut somebody now? What the fudge is this shit? My man's over here like, pick up a fullback. It's, it's fine. Pick up a fullback. I pick up a fullback... And now they want me to cut somebody. I'm cutting Tyler Bass. I don't care. I want Calvin. We're, we're keeping Calvin. All right. We are keeping Calvin. All right. NFL rosters. We're going to give him one of the youngest players. He's a channel member. We'll give him a young. Not on Jaguars. I'm talking about total. NFL, one of the youngest players in all. Ooh, this is like youngest top players, though. None of these guys are going to be rookies, are they? Yeah, no, this is this game doesn't work the way it used to. I want the youngest player in the entire league. You're not really giving me what I want. All right, uh, shit, Chad Powers. What does that sound like? That sounds like maybe a defensive end or something. How about a left end? 
I know that there weren't very good ends in this draft class. That's You know what? We're going to put them in the division against us. And since he's a channel member, we're going to make him good. It's going to make it tough when we have to play them, but we're going to give him superstar. He's a channel member. He's going to have we'll give him more awareness, strength, agility. We'll make him an athletic freak. There we go. And his name to be Chad Powers. There we go. My man, Raider Bear Comics. Shout out to him. Chad Powers. He's going to be on the Titans. He's going to be tough to play against. That's for sure. He will be tough to play against. All right. Easy. What the fuck is wrong with the sorting process? I don't know. It's because the game sorts only what's there now. The old games used to take the all players list and sort the whole thing. Now, apparently, with the memory in the game or whatever, like, it takes this top 100 list. This is only the top 100 players, and it sorts it by age instead. So that's why you got all 80s and stuff here. Like 80s and 90s. These are the best youngest players in the whole league, but it doesn't do the right stuff. If no one else wants one, I can volunteer my name. Jared, if you want a player, we will find you a guy. What position do you want to be? You tell me. You're the last one getting one. Hey, uh, hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. What's going on, Colin? I want you to see something. How's your kicker doing? He's right there. <laughs> we got him. We took him. Nobody picked him up. Nobody picked him up. So we took him. Hey, my God. We took him. Let's go receiver. Why not? All right, let's see. Who's young at receiver? Colin, you can get another player. You know that, right? Just letting you know. You could if you want to. Uh, shit. Let's see. We got a Malcolm Proctor in there. We got, who else is here? Sherrod Mixon. That's a good name. Jordan McCall. There we go. That's a shitty name. All right, what's his name? Jared Seibel? We'll throw your name in there, Jared. We are going to make you Jared Seibel. I hope I say that name right. I really do. Jared. Russell Wilson is the Packers quarterback. Oh, gosh. He said thanks, though. He's like, I know I got these, like, channel member perks, but I really just want a kicker. I'm like, all right, cool. That's what you want. Let me make sure you have star dev at least. Yep, you're good. Jared Seibel on the Jets. We might play them. It happened. I don't know if it'll happen this year, but it might. Let me see. Do we have schedule available to look at? Team schedule? What are we playing this year? So we're playing the Bill. We are playing the Jets. We're going to your house, Jared. We are going to your house, sir. Week seven. It's on. You're one of the only people to know how to pronounce my last name. Hey, I, I'll consider that an honor, sir. All right, so we have Bills at home week one. Then we're in Tennessee, in Minnesota, ooh, against Clink's quarterback. Home against Tennessee. We always play Tennessee like twice in three weeks. It happens every year. Then we're at the Texans versus the Colts. So we have three, four divisional games in our first six, whereas last year we had four divisional games in our last five. Then we'll be at the Jets, home for the Texans. So that takes care of five divisional games right there. We will be at the Ravens, home for the Chiefs, home for the Dolphins. In a divisional round rematch, we have the AFC title game rematch and then the divisional round rematch. Then we're at the Colts, at the Patriots. So our last divisional game is week 12. So we'll already know where we're sitting for the division by week 12. And then 
we get into Lions, Giants, Bears, Packers. So four of the NFC games that basically don't mean anything are going to be at the end of the year. No tiebreakers here, basically. And the only other game is the Vikings early on. So we've got some uh, some interesting stuff going on in this season. It's a complete opposite of what last season was, where we played a lot of our divisional opponents at the end, and it really affected playoffs. Uh, but we were able to make the playoffs and get all the way to the Super Bowl and lose. Now we're hoping we can get to the Super Bowl and win. We are an 84 overall team this year. We've been building it. And we had to retool it because a lot of guys were down to one year on their contract. But that's huge. I really appreciate all you guys that came through. Hopefully you're all excited for the preseason video. I'm going to start recording that uh, pretty soon. So appreciate all you guys coming through. You guys are fucking awesome coming out to these streams. All right. I also stream on Twitch, if you guys didn't know, if you guys wanted to come through over there, if you got an account over there, if you've been watching other people over there, even if you haven't and you want to create a free account and come over and watch, there it is, twitch.tv, FG Streams. That is my name over there if you want to come over. We've seen a lot of people from YouTube coming over there saying hello, so that's been really fun. Um, but that's where maybe I record some things that might eventually become YouTube things right now, and they're just not yet. So something for you to feast your eyes on, maybe pay attention to. Appreciate you guys all coming through. You guys are fucking legends. Later, everybody. Hopefully you guys have a great night, man. But there we go. We got through the off season. We've done what we've had to do. You guys are awesome. You know I love you. I couldn't do this without y'all. I can't believe y'all freaking actually watch my videos. So thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys.